Oh, the hell are we all doing today? There we go. How are we all doing today? It's quite already in here. God damn it. Anyway, right. So, so, Millman, Toki, in fact, Toki, how you doing, buddy? How you been? How you been holding up? Right. Um. Give me a second, just figuring a couple of things out. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Once I do remember a name, it's pretty hard for me to forget. It's just remembering the name in the first place. I got a new phone. Ooh, nice. I know I need a new phone. Because honestly, I mean, my phone's decent and all. But with how... Like, it's a good phone. It's it's a really good phone, but not exactly for what I'm looking for. Because I'm more, like, as you probably gather, I'm more of a gamer, and this ain't exactly the best gaming phone. Also, um, again, Yogi, buddy, you really need to go to fucking Specsavers. Um, it's a new Google phone. Oh, yeah, I keep getting adverts for that shit all the time. I keep getting shit adverts for freaking the Google phone all the goddamn time. It's so goddamn annoying. But also, how you doing, Yogi Bear, as well, buddy? How you been? Right. So I'm debating today. I'm debating, right? Because I've, I've actually figured out, after doing a little tester yesterday, Dr. Smoochum, it has been a while, buddy. How are you doing? Wait, Sharon? Sharon? Who the fuck is Sharon? It's Shao. You, you added an R and an N in there, which you didn't need to. Um, good, uh, good kind of, kind of tipsy. You know what? I figured as much. I figured as much. <laughs> uh, the camera color is amazing. I swear, it's like eight K res. That's pretty good. That like, that is really good. Please another Sharon. Uh, I'm gonna kill Google Voice. Oh, got you. Okay, okay. Google, like Google, you you've added a couple of letters in there, but you sort your shit out. <laughs> but yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. But yeah, um, to be fair though, how often does Google come across the word "shall"? You know what I mean? So yeah, kind of makes sense. But at least in the English language, um, but. Yes, I've been debating what to play. I've actually been debating what to play because I really got into Two Point Campus yesterday. I had a lot of fun with that yesterday. And I'm debating whether to play that or to jump back onto either um, Planet Crafter or The Infected. One of them. I mean, The Infected I might actually leave for a little bit because I want to kind of figure out where I'm going in that game just because of the fact of... With the way they've set the game up now, defences are a very big priority. You know what I mean? So I might have to go in and get rid of the roaming zombies because honestly, that is becoming a bit of a pain at least at the moment. So I'm, what I might do in that game at least for now is get rid of the roaming zombies. Uh, zombies, sorry. So that way then mini bosses aren't attacking my base as quickly. And then once I've got some defenses set up, then maybe add them back again. Honestly, I think that could be a good little mechanic they could add to the game anyway. So maybe like once you get to a certain point, like the game figures it out as once you've got like so many points of defense set up at your house, that's when they start appearing. Um, maybe something like that. But yeah, honestly, I feel like especially at the early stage of the game, like it's hard to keep your base defended when there's now instead of the waves coming once every 10 days it's now a mini boss with every fucking random encounter you find out uh you find um zooming the camera is amazing you literally see threads on clothes with it damn yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean by threads but yeah that that's freaking awesome that like hell yeah so we've got someone who uh, is having a fun time with uh, Google Translate. We've got someone who is having a fun with a, fun with a Google phone. Another person who's pissed out the fucking head, or soon to be pissed out the head. Great start to the stream. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I also do have Jurassic World Evolution 2. Like I have a lot of games that I want to play, but I don't want to start like too many new games. 
Like, I have Jurassic, Park Evo uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2, Guardians of the Galaxy, Dishonored. I actually want to go through the Dishonored series, see what they're like. Uh, Craftopia, uh, Sniper Elite 5. I've never actually played that game, but I wouldn't mind doing it on stream. I still have to finish Far Cry 5. I want to have a fuck about on Forza, or like on a multiple driving games, actually, with the steering wheel and that. Um, plus a lot of games on Steam that I haven't gotten around to bloody playing yet. Soviet, how you doing, buddy? Right, Toki, what the hell? W what happened there? Did you fucking hit the wrong buddy? That was Chinese, by the way. I had a feeling, I knew it was something like that, but I had a feeling. I don't know why. I, th I think the symbols might be a big giveaway. Oh, yeah, never good when that happens. Never good. But stick with it, buddy. You are, you, you, like, like with everyone and anyone, you are a lot stronger than you realize you are. Stick with it. Honestly, 100% stick with it. You got this. And hopefully, to, the stream can help distract you a little bit. That's the main reason why I do stream. Um, I see what you mean. Wait, what? Yeah, it all comes up as symbols, so yeah. Uh, Japanese and Chinese look different. Oh yeah, 100%. They are very different. Very different. Uh, I'm not strong, trust me on that. Look, right. I've been through this spiel so many times with so many people, and they, have, they are now way stronger for it. I've been through this exact same spiel with Tina as well, right? And she is so much stronger now than what she ever was when I first knew her. And yeah. Alright, uh, alright, Toki. No worries, buddy. Thank you for popping by. I always appreciate it. And now uh, hope you have a good one. But uh send a message in Chinese and other foreign language. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, I, I don't mind. It's it's entirely up to you what you want to do, but no worries at all, buddy. Um but yeah, at the end of the day, right? you are stronger than you realize that's the point of the fucking what i'm saying you don't realize how strong you are you think you're weak but you don't realize that you're actually not none of us are at the end of the day look at everything that this fucking world is throwing at us look at everything that everyday life is throwing at us and we are still here that in itself is proof that we are stronger than most people right like take for instance the fact of how you get a lot of people out there who care only about themselves who only ever view life through their like just as they them being the center of the fucking universe right very selfish self-centered fuckers right you but you yourself are still even though things are getting you down things are getting on top of you you still prior like you still know that being nice to someone else is better than being an asshole. That in itself is what makes you stronger. Simple as that. So yes, regardless of what you say, you you are wrong. You are stronger than what you th uh, think that you are. You are stronger than what you realize you are. You just need to realize it. So you can say all you want. You're not strong. It's a lot of bollocks. You are strong. You just don't know it yet. You don't see it yet. It's all it is. You just got to find it. And that's where it comes back to a conversation I had a few days ago. I view anxiety like a separate entity from myself. Anxiety takes, like with, with me at least, my perspective on it is it's a separate entity because it takes your effort and uses your effort to give you negative thoughts and to make you feel on edge and all that shit. So that's your anxiety using your effort against you. What I do is I go, fuck you. I grab my anxiety back and I, uh, anxiety, my effort back. I grab my effort back off it and I'm going, no, this is my effort. I will use it how I want to. And that's where the whole thing of, I could like I use that effort to go right if anxiety is getting too much for me what do I do I grab something near me and I go what do I do with this so 
I'll grab a pen. Oh, maybe there's something I need to write. I'll check to see if there's anything I need to write or if there's something I've written down that I need to remember. You know what I mean? Or even pieces of paper that's literally my desk is a mess. Pieces of paper that's on my desk that I think, oh, that can go in the bin. You know what I mean? And so on and so forth. Anything and everything around you can be a distraction. But you need to take that effort back off your anxiety and go fuck you anxiety even though it's still there and it's still kicking the shit out of you you need to take that um effort off your anxiety and go i'm using it for me and that's how you help yourself with your anxiety at least that's how i work it everyone is very different but that's literally how i view it and it is honestly in my eyes it's the truth your anxiety drains you of all your sanity and uses it to basically put negative thoughts in your fucking head um i'm more how oh, i'm compared to my sister than that she owns her own tattoo shop owns her own home and is traveling to perform music in the meantime i'm just i swear god soviet stop 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 that that's no no you stop that right now right here is the honest truth of the matter. Stop fucking comparing yourself to anyone else at all, whether it's family, friends, or enemies. Stop comparing yourself to anyone. And this goes out to everyone out there. Stop fucking comparing yourself. Because this shit annoys me, right? I'm not saying that I'm annoyed at you specifically here, Soviet, because I'm not. I'm just annoyed in general that this is the perspective of a lot of people, right? Stop comparing yourself to others, right? Because at the end of the day, you are not them. You are you. You live your life how you live it. At the end of the day, it was only the other day that you came in and said that you were dead proud that you were going gonna go and do college. Where the fuck did that go? That's what you need to focus on. Stop focusing on how other people are doing better than what you feel like you're doing. No, you, you stop that. You stop comparing to others. Seriously, to everyone out there, stop comparing yourself to others. Learn from others, maybe, but stop comparing yourself to others. At the end of the day, right, look at fucking, look at the whole thing, like look at Keanu Reeves. He's worldwide famous. I, ins I aspire to be just like him, right? He is such a fucking idol to me, right? I fucking absolutely love that bloke the bits, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, same college as me, same. Uh, 42 miles to walk or ride, uh, a bike to get there, and my mum wanted me to go to the same college. Wanted to go to the same college as me, same mum who went out to ruin and control my life. It doesn't matter. Don't let it like at the end of the day, she, she even if she is planning on going to the same college, so what? You are doing something to better yourself. You are doing something better to, to, to better yourself. Take that effort back off your anxiety and fucking use it for yourself. Seriously. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't be afraid of others. You are living your own life. You are doing what you want for yourself. Use that. Make it fucking strengthen you. That's what life experiences are. They're experiences to strengthen you. Treat it like a game. You have a bad shitty experience. Sometimes even with games you have a shitty experience in a game. But overall you enjoy the game. Right? So there's that one mission in a game which is really fucking horrible, but you get through it because you want to level up. Right? You want that level up so you can get that fucking experience, so you can be better off for it. Life is just like that, in in my opinion at least. Life experiences may be a lot of them may be shitty, but you learn from them. You are leveling up from them. That's how life works. It's a shitty fucking place to be in, but it's also what you make of it. Go out there and make something of your life. Don't sit there and compare yourself to others. Don't sit there and worry about others. Focus on bettering yourself. At the end of the day, you are the one in control of your life and your actions. 
simple as that she can be as much of a nasty influence as she wants when it comes down to the crunch of it you're the one in control of your actions you get a college you knuckle down you work your ass off in college and do really well right especially with how much you have to go through to get there and do it if you can do that you are fucking well you're already bloody stronger than her you fucking just make yourself even stronger and even if she was to i'm not saying she will but even if she was to try and fuck you over while you were at the college it wouldn't work if you're working your ass off and proving that you are a fucking grade a student student so yeah bollocks to anyone else in your life do what you do to better yourself simple as that so anyone out there again you feel like someone else is doing better than you that's because that's them this isn't you they are not you you are you you do better for yourself don't compare to others learn from others but don't compare to others obviously if you're going to learn from others make sure it's positive but yeah anyway i went a bit of a tangent there but i uh, got maybe 11 years left i'm scared i won't graduate as fast as i need to to get into the field i like to uh and do something with what little time i have left wait what do you mean you got 11 years left what, what do you mean by that but anyway anyway right but either way stop worrying at the end of the day right at the end of the day let me put this an example for you right now i don't want you to compare yourself to this person i want you to use this uh, story i'm about to tell you as a life lesson i knew someone who was born with muscular dystrophy right basically all the muscles in their body were rotting away specifically the legs right the worst was the legs right and when they reached a certain age they like quite young as well they ended up bloody basically in a wheelchair right they could still get up every now and again but they were in a wheelchair most of the time even to the point like and it got worse and worse because now they're at the point in their life where they can never get out the wheelchair again you know what i mean obviously in and out of bed yes but they can't even they used for a while they used to be able to just walk around for a little bit it'd wear them the fuck out but most of the time they spend in the wheelchair they were told by the doctor that they would never ever drive they would never be able to learn how to drive because they just don't have the strength to do it they proved that doctor wrong they wanted to drive they learned how to drive they they now drive you know what i mean nothing there is nothing on this earth that could tell you what you can or can't do other than you seriously nothing at all whether you've got a time limit or not you are the only one that can do it you're the only one that can believe in yourself enough to do it others can cheer you on all they want right at the end of the day like others can help you out others can cheer you on others can support you all they want but if you're not willing to take that first step of fucking cheer yourself on and say to yourself that you can do this everything else that anyone else is trying to do to support you and help you don't mean a goddamn thing because you're basically saying no to it all simple as that say yes to yourself and all the rest of the help that everyone's ever been throwing at you will make perfect sense well then still i was told that i'm gonna have a bloody heart attack at, well i'm not told but it's in my family tree that i'm gonna have a heart attack at the age of 40 right it's more likely going to happen because i'm stressed most of the time anyway but yeah at the end of the day if you know that's what's going to happen then get ahead of it i'm 36 years old now i went to the hospital and said i want to get a checkup on my heart because uh we've got a family history of um turn 29 uh 22nd of july well do what i did whatever condition it was that killed you like uh your the rest the other mem family members at the age of 40 go to your doctors when you're about 35 like i did say to them you want to get it checked out and they'll check it out make sure that everything's okay like they'll do this and you know, obviously i know it's different over there because it costs you and over here it doesn't but still regardless if you're worried about that go get it checked out that is already you doing something to help yourself right 
Like I say, I went, I got told, said to them, I've got a family condi uh, family history of heart attacks. I want to get checked out. They said, well, you come at a good time. 35 is about right right age if you said 40 is when it's due to happen. Um, they gave me a couple of tests. They said, everything honestly looks really good. And that was it. I'm still expecting it to happen. I'm still 100% expecting it to happen. But when I hit about... I don't know, 37, 38, so the next couple of years or so, I'm going to go back and get checked out again. I'm going to go to the doctor and I'm going to say, I want to get checked out again for this whole heart attack issue. Because I don't want to be non-prepared for when it happens. I want to make sure that I'm fully prepared. That's me helping me out. Um, I'm being checked up since high school. I've been neglected to do so out of fear. Bollocks, to, right. Fear, you know what I say, bollocks of fear, but fear is a good thing. It's what proves that you're fucking human. Get out there and fucking do something for you. You've already started by wanting to do this college. Get to it. You want to go out, you want to sit there, and make sure that you are not going to die at the age of 40, then do something about it. Seriously, fucking do something about it. Sitting around ain't going to help you. At the end of the day, yes, maybe you are scared of what you might hear, what you might find out. But again, it's a life experience. Get out there and sort it out. Simple as that. Oh, commercial can't hear you. Oh, well, I've been mad on for no reason. But anyway, <laughs> either way, the main point has gotten across anyway. Right, so. Uh, I'll walk to the campus near me. It's not nearly as far. It's maybe eight miles away. I mean, yeah, you could try that, but at the end of the day, that it like, were you were also mentioning as well last time about getting like bus uh, bike riding to the nearest town and then getting a bus from there. Maybe there's somewhere you could lock your bike up in the nearest town, and then get a bus, get off the bus, unlock the bike, and then go home. Simple as that. That honestly might make your life easier. Try that with the campus that you plan to go to in the first place. Now, if I remember rightly, there was a reason why you wanted to go to that campus specifically. So, try that. But anyway, anywho. I know they also, I know a lot of people also say to be patient with people who do suffer from a lot of anxiety and depression, but sometimes tough love is the way forward. It really is. I mean, uh, I've, I've done that a few times with Tina as well. Days when she's just not taken anything, any advice that I've, like, well, she's not even listened to any advice that I've given. She's just had a, a negative answer for everything I've ever said. I've kind of just gone to that stage of, like, telling her off about it. So basically, like, just saying to her, fucking why? Why the hell do you feel your life is so shit. Why the hell do you feel you're not allowed to be happy? All this, that, and the other. And she stopped giving me bad answers because, yes, it did start to make her feel a bit negative. But later on, she actually thought about what I said and she knew I was right. And honestly, when I first knew Tina to the day that she, to, 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 to today, there was a massive difference. She is like the fucking complete opposite of what she was. She's now happy, content. She still has her days. She still has her days. I do as well. But she's taken in a lot of what I've said over the years. And she's way happier, way more content, and way more just her natural self now than what she ever was when I first knew her. And I'm so proud of her for that. I really am. Deadpool, how are you doing? Uh, my British dish. What do you mean you're British dish? You're as bad as... You You. You are literally as bad as fucking... Um, Yogi Bear. Mind you... Oh, Bish. Why did I read that as dish? But still, Bish. Okay, well, I'll let you off then. But still, I ain't no one's Bish. I was going to say you as... When you said dish, I was going to say you're as bad as fucking... Uh, Yogi Bear, fucking Yogi Bear, every time he's had a couple of fucking drinks, he come in, he come in fucking asking me why I'm so goddamn hot. I mean, I, I'm not really hungry. I had a fucking pot noodle before I started to stream. That, that fucking helped me. That, that's about all I've had, though. So I am going to be very hungry later on as well. Anyway, 
Um, but yeah, just like I say, Sylvia, buddy, take in to advice what I've said. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. You can change the advice that I've given you if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But all I can do is give advice. Take in what I've said. And honestly, you will... Like, I, I honestly think you will find your way a lot better. Uh, dude, I had mac and cheese, dino nuggies, and my friend Ryan made me dinner, and we watched Netflix. I could murder some mac and cheese, honestly. I fucking love mac and cheese. But dino nuggies, I didn't even know they were still a thing. I've never been so attracted to a man before. He made me mac and cheese and dino nuggies. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, I had three small PBJs and a chocolate granola bar. I mean, I've heard worse, but honestly, peanut butter is actually... Here's another piece of advice to anyone who... One of the main causes of anxiety is hunger. Honestly, hunger is one of the main causes. I was actually told ages ago. I don't know how true this is, but it did help. It actually did help. Even if you just buy a bag of peanuts, right? Or like that. This is the reason why as well protein bars have peanut butter in them, right? If you have something like peanut butter in it or peanuts, like just a bag of peanuts, just sit there every now and again, just like every three hours or so, just have a handful of peanuts, right? Eat them because they are so slow to burn in your stomach. They last longer. And that's where the whole protein side of it comes you are feeding yourself for longer technically speaking so having that will stop you from being as hungry as often and therefore it will help with your anxiety i'm not saying it's the only cause of anxiety but it does help uh peanut butter contains insect parts google it if you don't believe me like it legit does right fair enough peanut butter maybe not be a fucking good idea then but okay listen oh yeah I've had them done for a while now. Honestly, I, uh, I've i said this before, but uh, years ago, I wanted to paint them black because I just thought it looks cool, right? Uh, just more protein. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Sylvia. Um, oh, it's, it's, uh, no, it's part of the doesn't cut. But it is more protein, though, technically speaking, because insects do have a lot of protein in them. Anyway, um... Yeah, years ago when I was younger, I just, I, I, I really liked the idea of painting my nails, but like just the black colour, I've always been a massive fan of like black and red. Um, but uh, back at, uh, at the time, the kind of people that I was friends with and hanging around with, they would have looked at it and started just taking a piss out of me, uh, laughing at my expense, think calling me fucking sissy, calling me gay, calling me a girl, all this that, and the other. And honestly, at the time, that would have affected me so negatively. At the time, now I don't give a shit. But back then, it would have affected me so negatively because to me back then, what other people thought of me, whether it was positive or negative, mattered. Now, only positive matters. If anything negative comes my way, fuck it. If anything positive comes my way, I appreciate it. Simple as that. Um, but back then, I just thought I'd, I'd rather not because I don't want them thinking that I'm something that I'm not, right? But now, I just don't give a shit. I like it. it I, I think it looks nice. I'm going with it. Um, my mom found out I was gay, shall, like, found out, out. And how did she react? Uh, Broski, we like us American. The British called us Yankees. As at the time, it was an insult to insult on par with calling someone a particular F word. Turn into a rallying song. Yeah, I never understood where the whole Yankees thing came from. Or Yanks. I never understood that. Where did that phrase come from? But I'm guessing it's obviously from what you're saying there. But particular F word, I have no clue what that F word could be. But yeah, how did your how did your mum react, Deadpool? I hope it was positive. 
because uh, I mean I know I would never have to worry with my mum like doesn't matter how I come out like if I was to like I am 100% vanilla like head, uh, what was it cisgendered hetero male all that shit but if I was gay or bisexual and I was come out with my mum she'd probably just come out with something like well, it's about fucking time I've been waiting for you to tell me you know what I mean? Because my mum just knows me that well. Plus, we've got the... Literally, the kind of friendship I've got with my mum is... She tells me about her goddamn fucking sex life. She tells me about her goddamn sex life, and we can actually have a laugh about it. You know what I mean? That's the kind of fucking relationship me and my mum have. It's fucking awesome. I love it. But at the same time, I kind of hate it because she's also got better gaming consoles and better gaming setups than I do. Fuck, man, they have a VR over there. In their house they have a vr they play vr on the regular i don't i'm like hmm my mom has a better phone than me my stepdad has a better phone than me hmm it's not fair <laughs> um well i was making tea and she saw i looked a little down uh i find just uh just had to like like someone and not be able to talk to them when get about when getting in co wait what right can you translate that again sorry deadpool or was that just part of what you were saying uh about the word i hear it but that's the f word to kill. Wait. Please, but wait. What word? Uh, she asked if I was okay, and it said, uh, "Is this about a girl or a boy?" And I asked what she meant, and she said, "I pushed, uh, I pushed you out of me. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> if you like boys, it's fine. I don't care if you're hurt." Oh, that's awesome! That is awesome, buddy. That is honestly awesome. But I love the way you, if that is exactly how your mother worded it, fucking mwah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's further up in chat. Eh, uh, I think it might have, uh, I think it might have been, uh, there is a thing where once in a blue moon, a random message won't actually get through, so try sending it again. Yeah, she really like that. Oh, right, okay, 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 you don't need to type it in again, I get it, I get it, I get it, right, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, yep, 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 right, brilliant, brilliant, I get it. 100% I understand now. But yeah, I've never understood that word. But to be fair, that word is actually the name of a a meal item over here in Britain. That is actually part of a meal. The name of a part of a meal over here. That's how I view that. Any other way it's used is a not but an insult. And then I cried and she hugged me. Oh bless. That is honestly awesome, buddy. That really is. That honestly, legitimate, it legitimately is fucking beautiful. It really is. I love how open. Like, it, like take for instance my nana. I fucking love my nana a bit. She is so fucking awesome. She's one of the strongest family members we have, right? Honestly, I look up to her so much. I fucking love the woman a bit, right? And she was brought up very old-fashioned. So she's like in her 80s now, I believe, right? And she she was brought up in like old-fashioned ways, like all this that and the other. The men go out, earn the money, the women take care of the home and all this that and the other. But that woman knows how to keep up with the times better than most people I know. And with the whole LGBTQIA thing, for instance, if she was to learn about that, she'd be like, oh, so that's how things are going these days. That's cool. You know what I mean? She would be so up with it all, like into it all. You know what I mean? Someone was to walk in and go, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm asexual. One of her families was to go, I'm asexual. She'd go, okay, so what does that mean? And they explain it and she'd be like, oh, okay then. Still love you. And simple as that. 
simple as that. That's I fucking love my nana bits. I really do. Uh, my dad doesn't know he's ex Navy, so I'm worried to tell him. Honestly, I don't like. I don't know his per. I don't know your dad's personality, so I couldn't tell you. But even ex military people, ex Navy, ex military, whatever it is. It doesn't mean they're too hard ass and old fashioned to believe in the, how things work in today's age. It does not mean that at all. It means they are strict. This is just my personal experience. It means they are strict, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are hard up against anything that they feel is different. A lot of people are open to different. You would be very surprised with that. So it depends on the kind of personality your dad has and honestly just putting two and two together here your mum and your dad obviously your fucking mum fell in love with your dad for a reason and it seems like your mum's got a diamond fucking personality so if that's the case i mean yes i have heard of a lot of parents who one is very opposite compared to the other but honestly you'd be surprised you would honestly be surprised um knew someone who served in the military that said they didn't understand why there was hatred towards people who like someone the opposite sex uh the reasoning in the military i learned it doesn't even matter what good you believe we all bleed the same exactly exactly that is actually a really good life lesson to go by same sex no yeah i get what you mean yeah same sex um i've been putting right now from the heat earlier i mean that's fair that's fair uh my mom said this which made me laugh it's good you get i've given up on hope on your sister to land a good looking man <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'd love to fucking meet your mom and uh, you know what i get where you get your sense of humor from now deadpool i get it a hundred percent you tell your fucking mother Thank you for your sense of humor. Seriously. Uh, oh, he's your stepdad, right? But still, there's a reason why she fell in love with him. Uh, but I just call him dad because he's been there for me. And even then, another reason right there, right? Why, honestly, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Because he was there for you as someone who is not blood related. He took you on as his own. And you feel that comfortable around him to call him dad, right? Trust me. With me, because of my biological father, I will now see the word dad as poison. To me, anyone who is a father figure to, like, who anyone who, like, basically with him specifically, he is poison, and I see the word dad as poison to me. That is the only reason why my current stepdad, I call him Peter all the time, right? And he did ask me one day, he said, why do you never call me dad? Because my brother, my little brother and my little sister do call him dad, but I don't. And I said to him, honestly, Peter, you are the best father figure I've ever had in my life, but I can't call you dad because to me, that is poison. I do not like that word and I would never do that to you. But you are the best father figure I've ever had, and I will gladly view you as the closest thing to a damn good, amazing father that I could ever ask for. And now he doesn't care that I call him Peter. He really doesn't. He knows how I feel. And that's, to me, like, he loves that. He really does. Um, And it wasn't easy to build up a relationship with him. Don't want to ruin that. I mean, we my dad is a cunt on legs yeah um, i'm right there with you buddy i'm right there with you but at the end of the day right i get that you don't want to ruin things but some that's the thing anything and everything at any given point you know how they say you could walk out your front door and get run over there and then and die a friendship a relationship a family relationship whatever they could end like that for any number of reasons that's another reason to be honest always be honest because that even if it's not the words that you say like even if it's like the words that you say or not the words that you say that ruin it 
something else could and then you will look back and go why did i not tell him about that you know what i mean you will the part of you will go i wish i'd told him even though later on down the line yes you'll be more like well time's passed now time is a healer you will still think at some point why didn't i say something that's just my advice at the end of the day the end decision is entirely down to you buddy honestly i feel like you've got nothing to worry about i really do uh i just looked looked at your shop and if you had a mouse pad that was just that cute panel on it uh like the sticker i dropped 20 for it right now yes i need to actually go through that shop again because i feel like a lot of it is very much the same i need to get rid of everything off the shop and redo it all i really do uh have you thought about being a motivational speaker you're freaking awesome um when it comes to things like that i try like i don't like i have thought about it in the past but at the end of the day i don't think it would go too far for me just because everyone's very different so one thing that could work for a lot of people won't work for others and stuff like that and i use a lot of personal life experiences as fuel for what i basically the verbal diary that i spew out you know what i mean so it wouldn't always work uh give us a moment Ooh. fucking uh red moth and share playing bloody minecraft again right uh so how long we've we been streaming for we've actually been streaming for nearly an hour god damn i did go on a tangent didn't i right so what we're gonna do is i'm actually gonna put it to a vote i'm actually gonna put it to a poll before we go for our break all right God damn it. Right, so what should we play? There's 10 minutes on this. Two point, uh, two point campus or Planet Crafter. Because they're the two games I'm kind of in the mood to play today. Uh, I think he knows. I've never talked about girls. And he sat me down once and had an awkward combo like he wanted to say the right thing but didn't know how so he came out with look you know i'm not your bio dad but i care uh and if you ever want to tell me something you can i'm proud of you, who you are oh yeah he knows a hundred percent he knows guaranteed it he knows that's the one thing, like, a lot, of, a lot of men are a lot fucking wiser than you realise, especially good men. They're a lot wiser than you realise, to the point where he knows it's hard for you to explain these things to him. So he wants to give you that little nudge through the door. That's his way of nudging you through the door, going, I know, tell me if you want to, in your own time. Without actually saying those words, you know what I mean? Well, he did say... You could talk to him whenever you want. But that was his way of saying he knows. And he's there to help and support you. Trust me on that. I've seen it before. Uh, this was said after he saw me staring at a guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he knows. He knows. Um, well, you're far more efficient at helping me beat back depression than pretty much anyone else I've met. Like I say, life experience. That's that's the prime example of the whole life experience thing, leveling you up and all that shit. I've been through it. I have lived it. And now, I've leveled up from it. I've lived it and now I've leveled up from it. Simple as that. That's what, that's what life is. Go for it. Uh, anyone can be a father. It takes a man to be a dad. Exactly. Uh, I'd rather be a big brother... Wait, what? I'd rather be a big brother figure to... Uh, or, oh, wait, yeah, I get you now, I get you now. Uh, step brother, what are you... <laughs> Dude, why did you reference that? What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> Stop. 
<laughs> stop. Stop with that reference unless you weren't in that reference. And then I'm just fucking wrong in the head. <laughs> uh, no step, just big with that. I mean, fair, fair. Oh, my days. Right, so we've got one vote on Planet Crafter. I don't know why I said vote so weirdly there. Vote. Why the fuck did I do that? I don't know. But, yeah, what the fuck? Epic, fuck off. No one cares about what offers you've got. I don't give a flying fucking hoo-ha. Why is that even up and running still? Surprisingly, we haven't lost any frames today, but also, surprisingly, I probably jinxed myself. But, yeah, so we've got one vote on Planet Crafter and no votes on Two Point Campus. Oh, that reminds me. Is Big Brother a TV show that used to be or still is on in America? Because we had a TV show over here in the UK called Big Brother. Uh, dude, Mac and, uh, the mac and cheese, I'm still thinking about it. He used four different cheeses. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Where the fuck is mine? Where the fuck is mine? You know what I mean? Why the fuck did no one make any for me? I want some mac and cheese with four different cheeses, right? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, what I was saying, right? So there was this TV series. He gave me a tub of leftovers. Still, what, like, bring sent to mine for my lunch tomorrow. God damn it. Uh, I didn't even know there was a show called Big Brother. Oh, yeah, right. So over here in Britain, we have a show or had a show called Big Brother. Right, there was the basic one and there was a celebrity one. It was a reality TV show. A bunch of housemates would go into this building, this house, right, and they would have to stay there, do different tasks. Every week, some would get voted out, but their life was recorded 24 hours a day. So you could watch what was going on in that house 24 hours a day, right? Whether they were awake or whether they were asleep. So it's like the Truman Show. But they knew they were there, right? Anyway, so obviously, depending on the personalities, people would vote each week. Um, and they wouldn't just get rid of the assholes. Sometimes they might keep the assholes in just to spice things up in the house. But either way, they would vote and all this, that, and the other. People would get evicted each week, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. And like I said, they had different tasks each day to do as well to get food, right? For that day. Anyway, um,. Honestly, back when it first came out, when it very first came out on Channel 4, uh, like it's one of the channels we have over here, on Channel 4, that's literally the name of the channel, Channel 4. Um, that was where it was originally aired, and it did really well. A lot of people were fucking mad for it, right? I watched the odd episode here and there, but that's about it. Uh, my mum was fucking nuts in it, though. Then it ended on Channel 4, and then they also brought out a little series, an actual TV series about Big Brother, if a zombie apocalypse happened, called Dead Set. Which actually, it wasn't too bad of a series, not going to lie. It was actually a pretty good series. Um, but then Channel 5 took it over. Yes, another channel is called Channel 5. Shut up. Anyway, Channel 5 took it over. They aired a few Big Brothers, and like I said, it was the odd celebrity Big Brother here as well, here and there as well. So it was all sorts of celebrities going in, doing these weeks in here. But that was for them ones were for charity. And then it ended again, and that was years ago, years and years and years ago, right? It's only fucking back on the ITV channels, which is technically Channel Three. On the ITV channels, it's back. They have fucking bought the rights to it and they're bringing it back. And I'm, why? Just why? But yes, there is a British TV series called Big Brother. Honestly, a lot of people, a lot of you might like it if you haven't seen it before. Should check it out. There's a lot of the old uh, stuff that happens in, um, or maybe on YouTube and stuff like that. You might find a lot of it on there. But yeah, so, oh, we're going to, we got a vote in for Two Point Campus. So it's now 50-50. Right, give us a second. I've got a message here, I think. Oh, no, it's a notification. Someone going live. Mm. Uh, Why did they bring it back? Who'd want to... Who'd want cameras up their butts all day? And uh, in mind, my sister literally... 
Uh, my sister is literally someone who'd love the attention. Oh, you would be surprised, especially considering with the basic. Um, also noted, how you doing, buddy? Um, but with the basic, um, Big Brother, you got to think that was their fifteen minutes of fame. They'd they could they come out from Big Brother whether they won or not. They'd get their fifteen minutes of fame, and then they'd bugger off. Plus the winnings that they got from Big Brother was actually quite a bit of money so yeah they're, they're like a lot a lot more people than you realize would go in for that shit a lot more plus with how famous it was as well how popular the show was a lot of people who just loved the show wanted to be on the show but the way they worked it like the, like one of the things that they made sure they did on that show as well is very few outside influences so what they would do is anyone that they were bringing into the house um oh nice awesome buddy um any people who were coming into the house they would literally be quarantined from the world for a few weeks before going into the big brother house so then that way they weren't up to date on all the most recent gossip going on out in the world which a lot of people were wanting but one of the rules in the house was you were not allowed to talk about the outside world like nothing maybe you were allowed to talk about some of your family members and that and stuff like that but uh, like your personal stuff like family stuff and that but that was about it you weren't allowed to talk like gossipy stuff and that god damn now it's two votes for each two votes on two point and two votes on uh planet crafter thornhill how are you doing buddy uh talk, talk about outside world i already do that oh no but in the big brother house you wouldn't be allowed to do that uh, I had to make it equal. Yeah, you had to be a fucking pain, didn't you? You had to be a goddamn pain. <laughs> yeah, Thornhill, I was just talking there. You might actually know this. Well, I don't know. I don't know how old you are, but you might actually know this. Do you remember Big Brother, the series? Do you remember that show? Yes, I do. I used to watch it. Well, I've got some good news for you then, because ITV, uh, ITV one or two is bringing it back. Uh, have you seen that woman? Uh, seen that a woman, Big Brother contestant lied and accused another man, Big Brother contest of him battering him to get him eliminated. The exit interview was so golden. When the horse confronted her about it, since everything is recorded. Yeah, how would anyone get away with that? Like, like I say, I never watched a lot of the show, so I don't know. But how would anyone even think of going away from that when every room, except for the bathrooms, was recorded and there was only one person allowed in each bathroom? You know what I mean? The only rooms that were not recorded was the bathrooms and only one person was allowed in at a time. Uh, Broski, that show was... Uh, was going on here in the states until 2013 i graduated in 2012. oh okay um i want them to bring jeremy kyle back yeah i yeah no you know what no uh, uh, jeremy kyle done my goddamn nothing absolutely done my goddamn fucking nothing because he was just the show was overrated in my opinion very overrated everyone was fucking screaming about it i could not go anywhere without going oh my god did you watch what happened on jeremy Carl? i'm like shut the fuck up fuck off uh <laughs> not dissing anyone who likes jeremy Carl. if you like that sort of thing fair enough me the show can fuck itself um uh gonna get some more food because it's eight in the afternoon and i've uh i've eaten Today was small three PB and J's, chocolate granola. Uh, yeah, yeah, no worries at all. No worries at all. A lot of people that would get so angry over nothing. Yeah, no, they're the people who I've come. I've had people like this all the time, where they believe they're in the right, but you've proved them wrong, and they don't like that they've been proved wrong because they can't take criticism and they can't handle the truth, so they bite back. They're they're the people you're talking about. Uh, have you seen I'm a Celebrity? That shit got over the years. That that got shit over the years. Don't watch that either. 
I do not watch that either. Last time I watched, uh, last time I saw anything to do with I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here was one guy who seriously triggered me just purely because he couldn't figure out flat packs. So when they said that one of your tasks is to do a flat pack, he literally just took the hammer to the whole flat pack and went, fuck this thing because he loves flat packs. I love flat packs. I love building things. You don't even need to give me the instructions. I will build it straight away off the bat without no fucking worries. I love building shit. But yeah, that's the last time I saw anything to do with that. Uh, turn to her, Carl, my son, my son's, my brother's love. What the fuck? Yeah, pretty, you know what? Yeah, pretty much. Mind you, no, that seems a bit more like fucking, uh, what was his name? Jerry Springer. That seems a bit more Jerry Springer-like. Um... Legit what it was. Uh, at least Carl is... At least Carl isn't James Corden. Yeah, it seems like since he's left the UK... Everyone in the UK hates what he does now. I mean, I haven't watched too much of what he does, but, you know. Seems like ever since he's left the UK, it's America that fucking loves him now. America fucking loves James Corden. Uh... If I were on that show, uh, all I'd probably do is destroy things out of rage for being around stupid people and try not to hurt them. That's how I am. Uh, how I am now. I'm much more tolerant of stupid ones like my sister. I mean, fair, fair. <laughs> I'm actually the same. That like, Honestly, if I get frustrated with something, I'd rather break an item that I have than ever even remote. I mean, I'd never, I don't ever, 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 ever have intentions of hurting anyone anyway. But just to be doubly safe, I would only ever break an item because I'd rather be an item than someone. Um, Gordon Ramsay is an absolute legend. He's fucking funny as shit. I've seen his um, uh, America, like when he was going around America doing, uh, I can't remember what, Hell's Kitchen I think it was, where he was helping all these restaurants get themselves back on their feet. A few of them triggered the shit out of me i'm not gonna lie but i did actually watch that and i actually enjoyed it yeah hell's kitchen it was hell's kitchen i watched the american one british one not as big a fan of but the american one i did enjoy but we'll get on about something about that in a minute um not how uh not how i am sorry when the show was running i was very violent and quick to rage Oh, got you. Uh, Jeremy Kyle is more savage than Jerry Springer or more Profit. I mean, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Jeremy Kyle is way more savage because he will walk up to the people sat in the chair if he thinks they're wrong and get in their face and fucking yell at them that they're wrong. But maybe not get right up in their face, but he will yell at them that they are wrong. He will fucking make sure the point gets across. You know what I mean? Whereas with their... Uh, uh, Jerry Springer and Maori, they just kind of let whatever the fuck. I mean, Jeremy, uh, fucking Jerry Springer, for instance, what the fuck was half of the shit that was going on in the background? What the hell? There was a guy fucking who has no legs walking around his hands a lot of the time. Why was he there? Why was he there? What was the point of him? What was the fucking point of that guy just being there, walking around in his bloody hands and just randomly finding a fucking sit spot? That, like, fair enough. If he was a member of the audience, fair enough. But he wasn't. The camera would go to him all the time. There'd be random other shit going on there. It's like, no, the focus is what the hell's going on the stage, not what fucking thing else is going on. You know what I mean? Why? What is the point? Oh, we've got to make that fucking TV money. God damn. Um... Uh, Hell's Kitchen is a competition show. Kitchen Nightmares is a restaurant rescue show. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kitchen Nightmares. That's the one. Thank you. Yeah, Kitchen Nightmares. There was two Kitchen Nightmares, which was around the world when Ki uh, Hell's Kitchen was like a group of idiots in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hotel Hell, which was a Kitchen Nightmare except hotels. Yes, I remember that as well. I didn't actually watch that one, but... Uh, Version of Hell's Kitchen. Uh, Dr. Phil, uh, the shit he had on there of attention seekers. Oh, I could just imagine. Full 
Uh, Dr. Phil has gone full boomer since COVID. Wait, what do you mean, full boomer? What, he doesn't believe COVID's even a thing? And they call him a fucking doctor. At least that's uh, that's what I'm guessing. Boomers, uh, from what I remember being told, boomers are basically someone who are stuck in their ways and don't believe in changing. That's what boomers basically are. Right, anyway, anyway, what we're going to do... What we're going to do, people, is we're going to go for a quick break and then we're going to actually decide... I'm going to decide myself, because y'all are fucking useless, on what game we're going to be playing. Because the vote, the poll was fucking useless. You all are fucking useless. Useless. So I'll decide what I'm going to play when we get back. It'll probably be Planet Crafter. But yeah, we're going to go for a quick break. Go get yourself something to drink. Go get your legs stretched. I'll grab those last couple of messages when we get back. Um, make... Wait, what? No, 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 no. This is your fault. I couldn't decide between two games, so I gave you guys the vote. Alright? I gave you guys a vote and you fucking let me down. It's your fault. <laughs> so make sure you get yourself something to drink. Go get those legs stretched. Right? By going to the naughty corner and then coming back again when we get back. Um, and yeah, we're back in a few minutes. What does my channel become? But yeah, that's it. We got it. I am, I'm, 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 I'm fairly... I, I think I'm fairly certain... ...that we're wholesome here. Kinda. Really, really pushing her like that? Oh, 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 she pissed. Oh, she pissed. Bitch, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh my god, what the fuck, where are you? Holy shit, what? I got jumps. Wait, why am I shorter now? I heard a fucking birdie. Uh, uh, birdie, a birdie, a bear, a, bur a birdie bear, a burly bear, lion bear, ooh, I'd be terrifying. Potatoes, excuse me, give me a second, hey, 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 hey. If he comes in the doorway behind me, I'm going to be pissed. Ah, you fucker! I shit myself, you fucking. Back up, 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 back Wait, come back here! Oh! What the hell? Uh... Oh! Uh, wait oh a minute! God. Wait a minute! <laughs> wait a minute! I said one second out! God damn it! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesus, hey. <laughs> oh, Cena, look at me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need that as a clip. Oh, my fucking God. Oh <laughs> what? Get out of the fucking house! Excuse me, in my house, get out here! Thank you. What? <sighs> Popo left the. I did it! Hey, right over here, my fucking edgy little. Bit. No! Fuck! What? 
and you got one in your fucking foot. I just lost two fucking arrows because of you, you prick. Yeah. Ow, little bit. Insult it if you want. Uh, insult it. You, it, it you insult. Bald, pale fucker. <laughs> you need <laughs> um, uh, Mate, I'm, I'm running out of them now. Um, you suck. You suck. Fight, fight, fight. And you call yourself fucking Scottish. What, mate, I was born here, didn't choose it, okay. <laughs> you should play A nil dis what? A nil A nil destruction, what? What even is that? Why is there a light coming from your crotch? Because that's where the best magic happens. You literally, your crotch is glowing at me! <laughs> the fuck? Look at my stream! <laughs> the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Baloney, Jamie, you're supposed to have gone to sleep. Baloney. Baloney. Uh, no, me, uh, no, me, uh, no, me. Aren't you in the junk? <laughs> and for the longest time, I didn't even bother with it. But I, I can't. Yeah. Someone said to me. Uh, someone said to me. The, w the first word that came to my mind as soon as you said that was Peter fucking Griffin. That wasn't what I was expecting, but fuck! <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> fuck! God damn it. I'll do a little panda that do. Now, see, that I can get behind. That I can get behind. No, I don't mean get behind a panda. I wouldn't do that. But it, the... Shut up. No one sees a thing. I'll have that apple, thank you very much. You've been a very good friend. Oh, shush. Don't let them know where I am, please. I'll give you some chocolate bars later. Right, let's... Lot two, that one, and there you go. Kate and Rachel can go in there, and that would end up giving Scott wet dreams. There you go. Disgusting! Apples left here for bye bye bye. Woohoo! Scott, you need fuck. Get out my face. Just no, no, need. I'm running towards the platform. Yeah, okay. Get on the platform if you can. Which platform is it? Is it three? Oh, he's, 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 what? He's inside of me. He's inside of me. What the fuck? I'm inside of him. Holy shit, what the hell's happening? Um, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming just as fast as I can run. I am on the platform and this is, this, this is something else. This, I'm wearing him. Cool. As long as he's not doing damage, you're all right. Um, help? I'm, I'm having, him. I'm out, I'm, him. I'm having an inner body experience. <laughs> Are you seeing this? I do. What the fuck has happened? Crouch, crouch, crouch. I can't. Oh, fucking shit a brick. Oh, shit, uh, one of the weird, the bald fucking skinny. Uh, shower, shower. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this next move. <laughs> I hope can be useful. <laughs> yes, he he he. Let's. What we do? <laughs> Shadow, they're all chasing me. <laughs> right, we're back. We're back. Anyway, uh, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Uh. Him and his team, uh, him and his team, one episode, berated a depressed 20 year old for not living on his own, having a job during the height of the pandemic. Yeah, he's definitely a fucking boomer. Um, 
Who the fuck is that? Uh, uh, when he transitions back, he's going to have 10 pounds. What? Where? Uh, better than uh, what I'm eating. You don't want to know. Uh, it's peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't ask. It's peanut butter and chocolate and there's no spread together. So I can't wait to pair on their own. It's uh, grim, but together it looks amazing. Honestly, peanut butter and chocolate spread are actually a good combination. They really are. Not the healthiest of combinations, but they are a good combination. Uh, sounds good. And coming from the American, yeah, that's like noted there, I mean. Coming from Noted being American, yeah, obviously, most Americans are going to go, yeah, that's good. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm snacking on a big ball of it. Damn, I made them uh, to put in the bowl, but had to put it in the fridge because it was too st uh, sickly melted. Yeah, no, that is the problem. Like, We've actually got a shop just around the corner here, a takeaway shop, where... Um, no, I get, I get, I get. Um, there's actually a shop just on the corner where they have some lovely, like, uh, melt tubs, right? Where basically what they do is they stick different, like, uh, chocolate, peanut butter, and a few other, like, assortments in for each candy, like, each chocolate bar that they want to put it in as together, like, and just a ball of it, like that. So, say about, like, I'd say, like, a good fucking hand size anyway. And it's it's a decent side ball and it's fucking full of brim. And they say to stick it in the microwave for a few minutes, you know, just to make it a bit more soft. But honestly, I have a couple of bites of one of them. I bought one before. I had a couple of bites out of it and I couldn't eat anymore. It was way too fucking rich. Way too rich. Uh, I've got something I can hold over my parents and sister that they don't have going for them. My credit score is sitting comfortably about 743. Fair, fair dues, fair dues, but you are still doing what I said not to do earlier. Don't compare. Do not compare. Don't even compare when you are in the right and they are in the wrong, like you've just done there. Don't even compare like that. Just focus on you. If you compare, even if you look at life like that, you are still comparing. Do not ever, 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 ever compare to anyone else. Just be proud of who you are and what you have and what you can do with your life. That's it. Do shit to better yourself. Make your own life better. Don't worry at all about whether other people are doing better or worse than you. Just focus on you. Simple as that. Uh, have you ever toasted Baz Mars? Have you ever tasted Baz Mars bar? Fucking beautiful. Yes, I have. When I first heard of them, I thought that is fucking disgusting. I actually did try one and they are fucking beautiful. Uh, it's just something I have to throw back at my mom when she compares first yeah but don't you don't you, you don't even need to honestly you don't even need to buddy if she tries to do that in the first place like the saying goes two wrongs don't always make a right at the end of the day all you got to understand is if she throws tries throwing anything at you then just go i don't care i'm happy with who i am even if you are better off than she is at what she's saying I don't care. I'm happy with who I am. What's, what, what, what does anything else matter? Simple as that. You are ha you just be happy with who you are. Uh, another cultured person on my generation hasn't had it. I swear to God, I was born in the wrong generation. Oh, you are right because there is actually something that there's a, there is actually a meal that is specific to the northeast of England where I am from, and it was actually start it actually started in the town that I was born in, right? That's the meal that is specific to the Northeast, which you will very, very, very rarely ever see in any other part of the UK, never mind the world, is uh, chicken ba chicken parmesan. Basically, we call it a chicken parmo, right? There's uh, basically chicken breast, just a big slab of chicken breast, breadcrumbs all over it, deep fried. Then, uh, what, what was it? some cheese on top of that uh, some uh, 
oh fuck it, I've forgotten the name of the stuff, but there's this saw stuff on top of that, and then a big thick like layer like that of cheese on top of that. That's that's the whole thing. Seriously, look up chicken parm or um Oh, so you've had them before? Yes. Uh, I was born in a town called Grangetown in Middlesbrough. Love me cheese. Yeah, chicken parmo is... I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of chicken parmo myself, but a lot of people do love it and can't get enough of it. So, yeah, if you like cheese, if you like chicken, uh, chicken breast, you'll love that. I can't remember the name of the fucking... Um, Oh, you got, uh, wait, chicken parma? Chicken parma? It, it, or was that meant to say parma? No, the O's over the opposite side of the keyboard, so that was meant to say parma. Chicken parma, is that right? Oh, it's parmesan. Yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah, uh, I can't spell the cheese. Uh, I can't spell the cheese. <laughs> no, yeah, I get it, I get it. But no, yeah, like, okay, so it is a lot more popular than I thought, even outside the northeast of the UK. So that's good. I'm very picky with cheese, but there's like cheese slice, uh, cheese slice, shredded yellow cheese, I'll scoff. Yeah, see the cheese slices, uh, to me that's plastic cheese. It's all right, but it tastes too fake. I'm not the biggest fan of cheese slices, like the ones that you get that are individually wrapped. That's the ones I'm talking about. Them individually wrapped cheese slices. I don't like them ones that much. They're too plastic to my, for my liking. Uh, but this, uh, wait, I've heard of that before. I've heard of that before, but. What is that? Oh, so it's basically the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, uh, I've had uh, something similar to that before. But yeah, it's basically the same thing, but the cheese on the inside. Uh, in the sandwich, anything else? Nah. Uh, it's in the crispy chicken with soft melted cheese inside. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Mind you, saying that one thing I used to love when I was a kid that my mum made for me. It was a very simple dish, but I loved it. Right, I had a few fucking uh, herbs and that to a part of it, and you're fucking sorry. But she'd make a giant scone or a fucking biscuit, as you fucking weird ass Americans call it. So make a giant scone that would fit in the plate, right? A plate sized scone. Make a giant one like that, cook it up in the oven, then once it's cooked, chop the top of it off, and then just have beans all over it. My mum used to do that for me all the time, and I fucking loved it. No, scone. Scone, as it's more pronounced. The fuck? Why am I itchy? Why is it not showing? Fuck it. There, them. That's not showing properly. Give us a minute. That's not showing prop. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Give us a minute. There you go. That's scones. You, you American types call them biscuits. Yes, that's the one. Uh, sorry, my uh, idiotic brain can't t uh, can typically only process one form of English. Yeah, the wrong form. <laughs> uh, you mainly have whipped cream and strawberry jam with. Yes, you mainly have that with them, but they are they can be sweet or savoury. And uh, yeah, my mum used to make giant ones of them, like massive ones. Like I say, used to fit on a big dinner plate and. Just chop the top off, put a lot of beans on it, plunk the top back on. I used to eat that, fucking loved it. It was uh, it was honestly really nice. Really, really nice. You'd be surprised. But I used to love that. Also, for those of you who don't know yet, I've now got my streamer deck set up. That's what I've been using, right? I've now actually got it set up. Where the fuck? There you go. 
I've actually got it set up and we have loads of sounds on there as well. So I'm well happy about that. I've um, never had it without whipped cream and jam or jelly, as American call it. Yeah, why do you Americans call fucking strawberry jam or fucking anything like that as jelly? It's not jelly, it's jam. There's a big difference between jelly and jam. Big difference. What you guys call jelly is like in your sandwiches and that is jam. It's jam. Jam. Let's word it out with me now. J A M. Jam. That's what it is. It's not fucking jelly. Jelly wiggles. Jam is sticky, uh, sticky sweet shit. Exactly. Yeah. See, Thornhill's on my side. Then again, Thornhill is British, but still, regardless. <coughs> But no, honestly, like that that whole what my mum used to do for me was really nice. Was really, really nice. Right, anyway, we are gonna jump on to some Planet Crafter. Because honestly, I am loving that game right now. Oh no, adverts. No, gotta love that ad revenue. Do 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 do. I've done it again. Uh, I tried baking bread once uh, and screwed up. I ended up somehow making soft scone that tastes like old fashioned grandma recipe sugar biscuits. How the fuck did you manage that? Uh, I just finished. I didn't hear anything you said then. Yeah, don't worry. There wasn't much going on. I just basically, like, I think the most of what you missed is me agreeing with you saying that jelly wiggles and jam is sticky sweet shit. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, there is actually another dessert that we have over here, which used to be known as the, uh, what was it? The poor man's dessert. And it's called bread pudding. No joke, it's actually called bread pudding. And I'm not going to lie... It's fucking awesome. I love bread pudding. You should give it a try. Google it. Google bread pudding. Give it a try. It's honestly really good. And there's a reason why it's called the poor man's dessert. Because it's really cheap and easy to make. So, yeah, you should check it out. Some uh, bread and custard. Never, never. Wait, is that what bread pudding basically is? Bread and custard? Uh, I have no idea how I messed up so good. Sometimes it's a happy little accident. Sometimes it's just like that. Uh, it was freaking good. Even gave some of the neighbor's kid at the time to share with the family. And he ended up eating almost all of them. Uh, my roommate at the time even liked them. Wow. Okay. That's awesome then. Uh, bread pudding. You have it with custard. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Oh yeah, you know what, as well, I'm going to do something else. I've just re remembered, right, being the massive Doctor Who fan that I am, there is something that I've never done before. There is actually something I've never done before, and I've wanted to try it. This goal right here, this goal right here, if we hit the halfway mark of the goal, so obviously, as you know, if you look at the bottom of this, if we hit the full goal, uh, there is a surprise in store for you, right? A big surprise. But if we hit the halfway point... I'm an old Doctor Who fan. Oh, so you like the classic episodes. That's fair. Uh, but this right here, if we hit the halfway mark, which we are already in nearly a third towards the hard way, halfway mark, right? If we hit the halfway mark, 150 quid, I will eat on stream um, fish fingers and custard. I will actually eat fish fingers and custard. Oh, you mean uh, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, all that jazz. Yeah, I get you now. I get you. Matt Smith was my favourite. But uh, he, the, none, like my favourite episodes were from David Tennant's era. Uh, I think we can all agree to hit the newest Doctor Who, yes? I don't know. Like I feel like she like was good as the Doctor. It was more the writer that was a problem. 
So I don't think she was so much a problem. It was more the writer. But at the same time, saying that, she was only going to stay being the Doctor if he was the writer. Basically, wherever the writer went, she went. Simple as that. But, some good news for you all. Um, what the fuck was his name? The one who used to write the David Tennant series is coming back again to write the new series. So, really looking forward to that. Also, I've heard that in the 60th anniversary special, Christopher Eccleston's coming back for the 60th anniversary special. And it's a three-parter. That's what I've heard. I don't know how true that is, but Christopher Eccleston's coming back as the Doctor. Um... Again, I, like this, I might be completely wrong, but this is literally, I've already gathered this from what he said on stage somewhere about him working on the Doctor Who 6th anniversary. So I have good reason to believe that's true. Um, but there is, all, like, we are also getting um, Neil Patrick Harris. It was it Neil Patrick Harris? Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris. I think that was his name. Um, in from Starship Troopers and fucking How I Met Your Mother. Um, getting him in as an enemy of the Doctor for the 60th anniversary special. So that should be interesting as well. Uh, Doctor Who, as nowadays they went everything... Uh, I don't like the up-to-date Doctor Who, as nowadays they want everything evil. What do you mean? I mean, honestly, I like that they are changing things up. Like, I love the idea... Like, I love that they made the uh, current Doctor female. I love that they went that direction. It's just, again, shame about the stories. Um, and I also love... Um... Wait, he was in uh, 28 Days Later? I did not know he was in that. Or at least I forgot he was in that. I enjoyed that movie. Like um, 28 Weeks Later, I didn't like as much, but I did enjoy 28 Days Later. Um, but... What was I saying? But with the new Doctor that's coming up, I'm really looking forward to that as well. I've never seen any of his stuff. I've never seen any of his work. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm liking the different directions that they're going. He's the army guy. Aha! For years they had a male actor and then they made her female. She doesn't really fit in my opinion. No, like I say, I mean, I get where you're coming from. But again, to me, like obviously the Doctor's always had different personalities. But to me... I feel like um, they were like I like the fact that they were going in different directions. I really like that. It's just, in my opinion, I feel like the writer did not do the show any justice. I think the writer completely ruined the show. So I don't think it's down to the actors. I think it's more down to the writer himself, because with all the with uh, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, Matt Smith. Um, and even Peter Capaldi, there was, there was the drama, but there was also the comedy, and there was a lot of colour to the show. Right, that's honestly the best way I can explain. There was a lot of colour to the show. The colour felt a lot more, and the, the show felt a lot more. Just I don't know, a lot more filled out than what it does at the moment. With I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I get why they want to make everything as accurate as possible. But I felt like it was like kind of hitting a nail too hard on the head and it felt just, it felt like there was something missing. It felt like it was missing that colourful side of it that all the previous Doctors had. Because I mean, you think about it as well, like I liked all the old, like the previous Doctors, mainly for the fact that like, take for instance, Peter Capaldi's Doctor. Now, Peter Capaldi himself is a Doctor Who fucking nerd. He loves everything Doctor Who. He remembers all the classics. He watched all the classics. He loves all the classics. He loves all the new stuff as well. He is the biggest Doctor Who nerd, nerd I've ever heard of, right? But when he became the Doctor himself, he was a persona of the Doctor where the last time they tried a profile like that, it didn't work. It did not work. And that was with... Um, what the fuck was his name? Colin Baker. Was it Colin Baker? Yeah, they tried it with Colin Baker and it didn't work. A lot of people hate the series when they tried that personality type with Colin Baker. 
Now, yes, Peter Capaldi's personality type for the Doctor was a little bit different from Colin Baker, but it was very similar, right? But Peter Capaldi made it fucking work. He made it work so good. And honestly, I really did enjoy Peter Capaldi's era. I enjoyed it a lot, even though he was a hard ass and he just, he had very little care for um, most other people's lives. He adapted, he learned, he found his ways to still keep that same classic Doctor Who fucking, I must rescue people, or I must do what I can to save these people just in a different way. I like I like how they did that and it honestly it made for a really good series. Uh Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fair. That is fair as well, Sov, yeah. Uh don't get me wrong, I loved um I love changed uh including more people of gender efficiency lately. Everything <clears throat> that I've Scene has been the main character as a colour person, like I'm not racist and I support everything, but it's rare on a rare occasion now you see I swear I'm sorry if I'm butchering this. Uh see just your average straight white male if you get what I mean without sounding too rude. No, I think I get what you mean, like hey nowadays that there hasn't been a good horror movie like Vampire Zombie a good smash uh, slashing movie like long turn chucky lost boys shit and as a horror fan i hate that no yeah like even go with horror now i'm not a horror fan but like my opinion of horrors i feel like as well even with them like all the stuff that you see back in the day was original freddy krueger um fuck i was about to say nightmare on elm street but that is freddy krueger uh freddy uh mike myers all them horrors back in the day, even like gremlins and stuff like that, they were all very original ideas. Now, yes, they all had the same thing, like the psycho killer who was near enough impossible to kill, right? But they all had the different strengths and weaknesses. And that's why the whole movie Freddy vs. Jason, a lot of people didn't like that movie. Me personally, I thought it was fucking brilliant. But that movie was a brilliant idea. That was a fucking fantastic idea because you were taking one guy who can pe kill people in dreams and another guy who kills people during the day and pitting them against each other. You know what I mean? That was just a fucking fantastic idea. Um... I'm traumatized by the gremlins sound that plays on the plays on the record. I, I've never actually seen, like I say, I'm not a horror fan, so I've never actually really seen any of their movies. I've seen Bits and Bats, but that's about it. But it's like, I actually do remember uh, watching through one movie, horror movie, when I was younger. I didn't want to watch it at the time, because again, I'm not a horror movie fan. I'm a horror game fan, but not a horror movie fan. But there was a game which uh, I played, like, a game, a movie I played through, uh, watched uh, in the past, I can't remember the name of the movie for Love and the Money, but at one point, it was about these kids, and at one point, one of these kids got an eye in their hands, and they had to stab the eye at one point. I remember that, but that's about it. Uh, but it was about a bunch of kids. I can't remember the movie for Love and the Money, but I remember that part specifically. I do know that I watched through it all as well. Right, let's mute. Thank you. That took a while to fucking pause. Yeah, see, the Saw movies, I never really... I watched a bit of the first one. I watched a little bit of the first one, but I feel like with the Saw movies... Wait, what the hell? Are we back again? Are we good? What the fuck was that? I literally lost all connection. I literally lost all my whole internet just fucking vanished for a second. God damn. And it was too loading this game. 
It was fun loading this game. Even like, like I can actually see my cameras lagging a little bit here. I don't know why. Anyway, anyway, point is. So yeah, um, but I feel like I can actually agree with. Even though I haven't watched them, so I can't agree too much. But with the Saw movies, I feel like I could probably agree with what a lot of people said to me. Once you've seen one of them, you've seen them all. You know what I mean? So there wasn't really. I don't know how they were able to make as many as they were, but yeah. But I mean, the the premise behind it was interesting. I'd have to say where a guy was taking people who had done wrong in their life and teaching them a lesson, basically, like people who had done wrong. And I mean, I don't know if all the people had done wrong, but the premise was, as far as I'm aware, correct me if I am wrong. Uh, most people um, that he'd brought into these freaking situations had done wrong in their life and he was trying to teach them a lesson basically. Again, I might be wrong on that, I'm not 100% sure, but that was what I got from it. From what I was told and the little bits that I saw. The gate. There's someone in that with an eye. Uh, the update so I don't right, I, I, again I can't remember if it was but like I say the the move like it, it was an eye in the hand it appeared in the hand during the movie no it might have been gate it might have been gate thinking about it now because I do remember something about like because it was out it was I can't was inside the house or outside the house but there was a gateway to like hell or something so yeah I do believe that might have been the one yeah so yeah you probably hit the name nail on the head there Thornell right anyway uh, that's not the right fucking one. That's the right one. Uh, when you get a chance, look up the gate. And, uh, I think I just found it. Yeah, I, honestly, it does seem familiar. It does seem familiar. I do think you might have hit the nail on the head. Well, they made a second one as well. 1987, that sounds about right. yeah yeah that sounds about right yeah that that is the one that is the one yeah there we go there's the eyeball in the hand but yeah i remember the kid actually had to stab something in his hand to get rid of it wait what the fuck is going on what the hell one of the fucking faces just... Oh, no, I think it was the point where the fucking someone was passing out in that scene. They took a picture at the point where someone was passing out and they kind of just went cross-eyed and then fell back. <coughs> hey, Google is an amazing fucking thing. Just saying. Google is an amazing program. Just saying. Right, anyway, let's get into this game. But yeah, that was that was that was an old movie that I remember watching um, back in the day. I've just realised why is that full screen like that? I actually started doing a thing where I make it smaller. Oh shit! What did I just do? Wait, what? What the hell did I just do? What the hell did I just? Oh shit! That's what I did. Okay, give me a second, guys. We're having technical difficulties here. I didn't even realise you could see the fucking follower goal in the last uh, the last fucking donor throw, but that's about it. And that last donor throw I actually remember was from the last charity stream we did. Um, they were aiming to throw it into the charity, but they threw it in me instead by mistake. There we go. Are we good now? What's this? Why the hell? Why the hell is the capture card fucking increase so bloody big like that? Oh my days, everything is fucking breaking. Technical dif difficulties all fucking round. Right. We are going to be having some fun with the capture card in the future though, guys. So be prepared for that. Because I've now figured out how to actually set up... Uh... Wait, why is there two capture cards? That's not capture card. What the fuck? 
Why is that reverted to capture card? You know what? Fuck it. We're just sticking with this. It what? I'll blame the Planet Crafter game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. I don't. Oh, any full screen application. That's why. Yeah, that's on me. That's on me. I set up Capture Card to capture any full screen application where I set a get game card. I made a fuck up there. I need to change it. I'll fix it after stream. I'll fix it after stream. But if you look in the Discord as well under Game Nerd Out. Um, I've actually taken pictures of all my PS1 and PS2 games. If there is any games that you would like to see me play on stream, because I now have the means to do it, let me let me know by typing what games you want to see me play. I'll put them all to the vote, and then whatever wins the vote, that's what game we'll play and when we'll play. Obviously, I plan to play like most of them anyway. But yeah, uh, I'll know which ones to play first. I think one of the first ones I probably am going to play is Need for Speed Underground 2. Because I have un Need for Speed Underground 2, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and Need for Speed Carbon. So we're going to be playing them three as well. Anyway, the originals back on PS2 when they very first ever came out. Right, so where we are. Oh yeah, 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 right. Uh, oh yeah, the Super Alloy. That's what I was looking for. But wait a minute, wasn't it dark when I was here last time? That's why I waited for as long as I did, because it was too dark to gather it straight away. Oh well, we can gather more now. So yeah, we're gathering an absolute shit ton of super alloy, and now that I've figured out where I can get it from, because honestly, it's a fucking pain in the ass to gather. Can I take this apart? No, okay. Eh, let me in, fuck. Wait, was that cloth? No, that's a chair. Right, so... Please don't let it go dark. It didn't go dark. Okay, that's good. So we need to find bridges to everywhere. Because it's just... On these ridges up here, this is where all the super alloy is. So, yeah, we're going to have fun doing that. Uh, did I go past me there? I didn't. Super alloy! Thank you. Oh, I hate parkour. Whoop! Oh, there we go. Super ally. And we've got uh, four oxygen tanks on us, so we don't have to worry too much. Gimme. Gimme. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to be falling off. Su super ally. Oh, I lagged a little bit there, and I nearly fucking walked straight off the edge. I swear god, why are like spikes so goddamn scary? Right, so that's back over towards home base. So we'll just use that. Eh, there we go. Um, please tell me I've gone the right way to get some more super alloy. How many have I got up to now? Ten. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Carry on looking. Where the fuck's it gone? Uh, don't be falling off. Jesus Christ. Uh, there we go. No, I... No, no. I right-clicked. I don't right-click for the good of my fucking health game. Jesus. Come on. There, 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 there we go. Are you stupid or something? Hey Max, how you doing buddy? And as we've stated multiple times in the past, yes, excessively so. Who's in the chest over here? I think I might have searched it though. Ah, two more super alloy plus oh Let's actually put them away. Stop it. Get, get them, some help. Get them, get, oh, I need that aluminium as well. Super alloy, I need I need two more. No, let's have that and have that. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's better. We do need the aluminium. We need the uranium. We need those uranium rods. And we need a lot of uranium to make the uranium rods. Right, let's let's uh, make our way out. That's not the way. Uh. Um, uh, around here. Give me a minute. I'll get caught up a chat. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to fall in a minute. Stop it, get some help. I, I, um, I'll need help. I know what I'm doing. 
Hoo-yup. Okay, I dropped a wee bit there. Yeah, I love this. Ooh. Atmospheric water collector. Ooh. Ooh. We've hit the rain stage. We've hit the water stage. The rain, the rain stage. So we've got rain happening now. Uh, have you colonized the Martians yet? Nope, not yet. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'll fucking colonize with them. Don't you worry about that. Water. Uh, ice. Honestly, I love the booster jet boosters on this now that I've got them. I fucking love them. They get me around so fast. And they help you climb things so fucking good as well. What we might do today as well is transfer everything from this base over here over to that base, that little square that I was just at. But what I might do first is get that one built up a bit more. So expand it out and then transfer everything that's over here over to there. Why did that go by itself there? So yeah, that's what we need the uranium for. I could make a lot of super alloy, but honestly, I need the aluminium for other stuff. That's what I needed the fucking super alloy for. Right, let's put some stuff away. Um, So put away that. We'll actually grab some of that out and make a uranium rod. Uh, let's actually use this as well. Flower pot. Ooh. Right. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. What do we get? Display case. Ooh, even better. Right. Uh, can we... Um, right, so let's put the food and water away for now. Yep. Put the water away and put the oxygen in there as well for now. Because we do need to try and keep the inventory as empty as possible. Uh, let's put away all but three of these. That's more than three. Uh, more than three that I'll put away. Oh. Um, wait. That's enough uranium for one rod. Yes, now we can make another power plant. Um, but I also need that, so I need titanium. And I don't have any here. <laughs> I need titanium. Uh, right, yes. Um, uh, if you look up... Oh, yeah, yeah, from the thingy. Uh, have you... Kind of, uh, oh, this is well and positive review on Steam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is such a good game. Such a good game, no joke. Honestly, I am really enjoying it. Mind you, why am I... Why, just give me another... Fucking storm! I need more bloody resources. Where's the titanium? Titanium. But yeah, if you if you like crafting survival type games, um, you'll really like this one. So yeah, I would strongly recommend you get it. It is a really good game. A hundred percent, such a good game. I'm trying to also what you're seeing there, like the gameplay there. I'm trying to fit the whole screen a little bit better so you can actually see everything that's going on. So now if you actually look right here, you can see the KTI, like, fully. So, yeah. I just hope it's the, the gameplay is not too small for you. Eh, there we go. Right. Uh, now... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to hit backpack off first. Backpack off. What? Oh, wait, did I make a backpack... I made a backpack to your fuck me. Well, I didn't mean, need to get that. Oxygen tank tier four. So we need cobalt. I think I actually have cobalt. I do have cobalt. Oh, we've got an extra bit of titanium there now as well. All right, so let's get the uh, oxygen tank tier four. Um, take that off. Wait, that has tier three. Tier four, yes. And now I actually have the max amount of oxygen that Tina told us I can get. So this is the max oxygen you get, which is 370 seconds. Which, loving it, loving it. Uh, right, so. Yeah, we've now got the uh, rain stage. Now we're up to the liquid, wa uh, liquid water stage. So from what I've been told, 
Uh, what's the story? You stranded here or just looking to terraform? From what Tina told me, you are a convict, only a petty crime convict, but you are a convict who's been sent by yourself to this planet with just a pod and a little crafting station, a few items in a little box to uh, terraform the whole planet for this company. That's your job. And you do find out also about other, like all these wrecks dotted around everywhere. You find out about uh, other people who were here before. So yeah, that's the little pod you start off in. And there's a reason why I've got my base up here because you don't want to start your base off down low. Find somewhere higher up and you should be good. Um, but yeah, right, what was it, what else were we doing? Oh yeah, how much, how, what was it for the power plants again? Three super alloy and two water. I right, will actually turn all that into water now. I am going to need to get some more ice, that's the wrong crafting table. I think that's it. That's the one. Um, three super alloy. Right. And then we build another one of these bad boys. There we go. So, yeah, we've got solar panels and we've got the... Uh, these things, whatever. The, what, what were these again? I forgot, I forgot. Nuclear reactors, that's the ones. Why the hell am I forgetting shit? And that is giving us... There we go. So 173 uh, kilowatts per two of the nuclear reactors. But only 117 kilowatts between six panels. But I'm not going to get rid of the panels just yet. Because if I was, we'd only just to say be within range of that. And we need to add more to these. So at the moment, we've got the tier three heaters going. I still have some tier two. But I'm keeping them for now. Um, so we're up to tier 3 on heaters We're up to... Oh, there's the rain There's the rain Yay, it's raining Look at that I love it We're, we're terraforming Right, anyway anyway. What the, oh, there's a effects that they have for the rain Not that it's as weird it's a Fucking, never mind Right, anyway, anyway, anyway Oh, yeah, we also did find that Let me actually put it somewhere else That's the wrong thing there we go. Uh, let's put it right there. And anyone who thinks that isn't a rocket, you're all fucking dirty. But yeah, there isn't much to the story yet. But um, there is more being added quite often. It's like there was an update back at the beginning and the, the beginning of this month, the back end of last month, which was the uh, bugs, uh, bugs and insects, uh, butterflies and insects one. That's the one. Butterflies and Insects update. The next update that's due to come out, which is the back end of next month, is going to be the fish update. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, right, so we've got two water left now, and I'm going to need to drink one of them soon. Oh, my days. That is so blue. That is so blue. Oh, wow. That is very blue. That is... Wow. Wow. Oh, we're doing a good job of terraforming the planet. Uh, you should start seeing uh, the like water forming over in like the like pooling over in that, this general area somewhere. I don't know when it starts, but that's when it, that's where it should start doing it. Um, probably when we get higher up in the water, the, yeah, the liquid water stage. So we're only at five percent at the moment. We need to build uh, more of the heaters more of the drills and more of the plant pot things there we need to build more of them each to get the terraforming going uh, higher faster so uh first things first let's drink some water um so yeah we got uh tier three veggie tubes which is what we need for dingley eggs if we got too much i actually forgot to... wait what I actually got too much from my phys physics astronomy classes. Ah, we've got tier three drills and tier three heaters. So we've got tier three of everything. Um, so these are the power that you start off with wind turbines. 
and then you get the solar panels tier one then the solar panels tier two and then the nuclear reactor that that's just the power or extractor i actually do need to get some of them but i need osmium and i don't know where the fuck i'm gonna find that um i need that oh i can make that now recycling machine Where, where's uh two super alloy and what was the other thing oh yeah the destructive the the, the 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 these was that was that what i needed for it three super alloy this is what i've been fucking having problems with right so let's plunk that over here Uh, stop interacting with that. Thank you. There we go. Now, we'll probably have to move it later when we get more screens because they'll need to fit in under there. But to be fair, all this is going over there anyway soon. So, Right, so what am I doing with this? Also, anything I put in recycles. Okay, then. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I can't eat it yet. Okay. Right, uh, what else do I need? I do need the shredder machine as well, but again, we don't have osmium or explosive powder. Uh, this I need to make. Luckily, I only need one aluminium per each one, so... No, that's not what I want. Also, again, with this game, you can label the lockers, and there is a channel point redemption. If you redeem it, I'll put your name on one of the lockers. Uh... That's absolutely fine, buddy. Nothing to be sorry for at all. You get out there and you find your little brother. No problems at all, buddy. Um, if it's rain, does it mean the planet is already has atmosphere and oxygen? Well, in this game, no. In reality, I don't know if that would mean that. But in the game, no, it doesn't mean that. So when you started off, the first thing that you were aiming for with the whole terraforming thing was blue skies. That was the first thing that happened. Then from there, you would get clouds. Then from there, you get rain which we are currently at we're on the rain stage now and the next one we're looking for is liquid water so yeah all right i've got three of them let's get three aluminium uh three super alloys sorry um we need uh iron silicon magnesium and cobalt three iron three cobalt and silicon and magnesium let's go not raining anymore by right, silicon and magnesium silicone magnesium silicone so that's silicone and this is magnesium so we need two more of each silicon that's iron right there uh, magnesium that's ice we do need some ice as well that's titanium um, are we looking one of each left silicon magnesium there's magnesium aha there we go so now if we also just collect a load of ice as well that will be brilliant because we are going to need more water there is only a couple of downfalls i have with this game like uh aluminium is quite hard to come by unless you search containers um but the worst one is food you the only way you can get food at first until you get the food grower uh, until you unlock the food grower is in containers you have to find the ration packs in the containers and that's the only way i do feel like that's a bit of a letdown because you should have a way to um what the hell why is that red why is that red like that that, I've never seen that before. Anyway. Inventory full. And I don't have any oxygen tanks on me either. Ooh, I'm fucked if I don't get back in time. Well, I should do. I'm only halfway through this, so I've still got 135. Uh, not 135, 185 oxygen left. Roundabouts. I can count for shit. I keep forgetting I've got a fucking booster pack. There we go. Right. Uh, oh, oh, right, 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 right. So what was that needed? These.
<sighs> so I kind of want to build these level, but I don't think that's going to fucking happen here. There we go. There's one. I should really build these over by the other place, seeing as that's where I'm planning on moving everything anyway. But, you know, I'm a dumbass. We all know this. There we go. So that's they're going to collect rain, apparently. Atmospheric water collector. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're, 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 they're going to collect water. I don't know how they actually help me. I actually don't know how that helps me. How does that help me? Where, what does it do? Takes water from humid ambient air. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh well. Right. Oh, that them need aluminium. All right then. So they need aluminium as well as uh, the iridium rods. Uh, veggie tube needs aluminium as well. See, that's a big problem. Like I said, the aluminium. It's it's fucking finding that shit. Uh, let's turn a lot of this ice into water. Ah. No, that's not what I want. Thank you. There we go. That'll do. Let's plunk all the water in here. Except for a couple of bottles. Grab the oxygen out. And grab a food out, actually, too. Because I'm about to fucking... There we go. Actually, let's have that as well. There we go. We're good. We're Gucci. Right, uh, we need to go and gather more resources. I'll have that. Thank you very much. I'll fill the last little bit of food. Um, where's the cobalt? I've got one cobalt left. Actually, I shouldn't be too bad for oxygen thinking about it. Because, yeah. Uh, right, we have seven... Uh, iridium there. I do need more iridium, so we're going to have to go out and get some more of that as well, because I need more of these tier 3 heaters. Um, I need to get rid of them to fucking... Wait, we'll actually dismantle these and see what we get from them. It was at this moment that he uh, knew he fucked up. No, I didn't fuck up. Uh, oh, right, yeah, that's lost mess. But I didn't fuck up. I've, I've got this. I, no, there we go. Right, so... Yeah, we need more iridium. And we also... I mean, I could build some more of the tier 3 drills. I think I've got... Oh, wait. Have, have I used all the aluminium already? What? Oh, shit. We need to go out and get some aluminium. Right, so... Right, you know what? I'll get rid of these as well. I'll get rid of anything... Are you, are you fucking kidding me? There we go. I know it means I'm losing a lot of heat, but if I can get rid of them, then um, I can make more iridium rods and make another set so six. There we go. That should be enough for an iridium rod. Uh, I can make more of the tier three heaters. There we go. Uh, what was the tier 3 heaters again? Silicon, titanium, and aluminium. Silicon, titanium, and aluminium. There we go. And there is another tier 3 heater right there. They're not going to squeeze in back here or there. Oh, there we go. Right, so we've got another tier 3 one there. So that's good. Um, I'm hoping that'll... Wait, let me actually have a look at something. So 4.5 seconds... 28 a second yeah so getting rid of three of them and making one of them still made it better than what i had so yeah uh wait did i oh okay 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 my bad my bad my bad my bad sorry sorry right uh which locker do you want do you want one of these two big lockers or one of these little chests over here which one would you like? Uh, while we wait for that... Uh, I could possibly make another tier 3 drill. Because I've got plenty of thing ways. So yeah, we've got two aluminium. Uh, one you're using the most frequently. Ah, this one then. So...
Yes, I did look at your name to fucking make sure I spelt it right. Because I'm fucking useless like that. There we go. Names in the game. Right. Uh, what was that needed? We need two iron, two titanium. There we go. Uh, tier three drill. Because we've got four of the plants over there. We've got uh, three heaters in there now, so might as well get a, a, a third tier three drill. So yeah, we're making we're making some progress. Right, there we go. That's actually a little bit better. We sh that should start increasing a lot faster. Uh, it's about the same. Right. What the hell? Why is my signal going again? Right. So what I think I need to start doing that. What is this? Wait, we got the grass spreader already? I don't even need to use that yet. Okay. Uh, our extractor do need that, but we can't get it yet. Um, launch platform. Oh boy. I might have enough for that. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get a lot of... Uh, I know I need to get these as well bio dorms but we need a lot of these big living compartments oh boy super ally are you fucking kidding me so we need iron titanium and super ally so we've got three super ally there how much is it for each one two right so let's get that uh iron and titanium so we need one more super ally one more iron and two more titanium So let's get over there with this lot. And don't worry, when I move everything over, I will put your name back on the tank. Wait a minute, I've just realised. Yeah, I've got everything I need. Uh, I will put your name back on again. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Right, and where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh shit, I didn't even collect the fucking resource that I need. So we need titanium. To, uh, right, so it's one more of each now. There we go. Now iron. And he's super alloy as well. Can you build a Mars rover? Uh, not, that as, not as far as I'm aware, sadly. But might be in the future. Also, this game is still quite like in early days as far as uh, be even being in early access is concerned. So there's still a lot more, I believe, that they do plan on adding to the game. I mean, for starters, you got like that shipwreck over there. You got a whole area over there. You got that shipwreck there, and a lot more further back there and round. So you got all this area to play with at the moment, yeah. And then over those big ass dunes just up ahead there. There's way more back there to play with, but there's nothing there yet. Nothing. Not even any of these resources. That's what I mean by nothing. Like, all the resources stop after a certain point up here. So, and the map is fucking, like, it goes on so far without, like, before you get to any of those big cliffs that you see up there. So, it's making me wonder how big this map is going to actually be. I mean, look at that. You climb up there, which you can. And it's just nothing. Just absolutely nothing. I'll show you in a minute, in fact. But yeah, there's just nothing there. So I do believe they have big plans for this game. But it does remind me of a... It, it, like, it does remind me a lot of Subnautica, I'm not going to lie. So if we go up here... You can run up here as well, but I'm just using my boost for everything. There you go. Look at that. Nothing. Wait, what's this? This is a big-ass fucking hole. Oh, there's resources down there. Ooh! How do I get down there safely? Because you don't want to venture anywhere if you don't have any means of finding a way out so I'm guessing that's the way out 
Okay, so there's something here. Right, so I never saw this before, so we're going to have to explore down here at some point as well. But yeah, look at all that. All that barren area over there. No resource. I mean, there's no resources right here as well. Right? Just all of that area all over there. Just the whole lot of it. All in the future. I can't wait. I really can't. I think you can actually only hover so far off the floor. That's why you can't, like, glide. Let's get back in here. And let's collect some more super alloy. Uh, yep, yep. Six, six. I just need one more super alloy. But we'll collect, we'll collect all the super alloy that we can because it is kind of important. I will go over this way. Oh, that was close. But yeah, it's like this tune that you're hearing right now. Reminds you so much of the deep underground areas in fucking Subnautica. Right, where are we going? Don't fall. Give me my super alloy. Give me the super alloy. Hello, is anyone in this crack? Nope. Oh, I'm, I, I, okay, this this is... Oof! That's quite a fucking in it. Uh, back, mum called me as I was on my bicycle to tell me that my little brother was found hanging out with his buddies. Ah, right, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad he's all right, buddy. I'm glad he's all right. That's what matters. Right. Right, come on, come on. Yes. I can get two more. Oh, hydration level low. Oh, would you look at that? Why, why not? Why, why don't we have a drink to celebrate? Did I just come from this way? I did, didn't I? Eh, eh. Right, let's jump over here. I think I've been over here though. Let me round. Oh, oh don't fall off. I don't want to fall off. I fell off. I fucking landed on something. Oh well, let's go back. See if we see any more chests on the way back as well. Okay, never mind, we're out. But yeah, the chests, it is always uh, worth searching the chests. But for me, like, I know with, like, Tina and Cena, they like to, like, when they play this game, they like to collect as many resources as they can and just fucking s store it for days. But for myself, I prefer to only grab what I need. And then bring it back and if I happen to have any stored, I'll store. Other than the rare resources. The rare resources, I will get them in abundance because they need it. Right, so we're going to set up our base here. We're actually going to set up our, our, our base on this one. If I actually got, I actually do have foundation. It takes iron. You know what? You know what? Yeah, we'll set up some foundation. So let's get some more iron. We can get like three pieces of iron, so that should be pretty good. Plus we can collect any more if needs be. Because it's it's all around us. Titanium. Iron. Iron. And that's it. So what I might do is. Yeah, I'll build my foundation. Let's actually just build it right off this rock. Kind of. Oh yeah, I just I can't. I just I just can't. Okay, well, thank you, game. Right, let's You know what that's actually quite nice. Yeah, let's build that there. Um let's build some more. Ah shit. No, no. Come on. There we go. And one more. There we go. So let's take deconstruct these. Yeah. And let's build that. I just want like a one door entrance sort of thing to start me off. 
like just a little room like this as an entrance and then doorway right in the center bish bash bosh so this is going to be the entrance this is literally just the entrance right here <coughs> and then behind it we are going to have the big room like this i do have enough supplies on me to oh is it not going to do it in the center oh, i'm kind of annoyed by that I'm, 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 uh, uh. oh wow what can you do right so we've got a big room there look at that look at that big ass fucking room hell yeah right oh yeah i forgot it was three titanium per each one and I, right okay okay i know what i'm doing now i know what i'm doing i know what i'm doing i got this i got this let's make a second room uh where is uh, iron that's the one one more iron iron where are you a silicon i mean i could go around and gather more iron and uh titanium for because i can make like two other rooms as well so i could gather another six of each five of each Four of that one, three of that one, two of that one. One more. And that's all the titanium I need. I'm not going to have enough fucking room for the rest of everything else. Actually, let's eat that. Yep. So I need... Uh, why is my brain gone fucking burp? Yeah, I need five more uh, iron. It's waning again. It's waning. Uh, iron, there we go. Whoa, don't freeze out my game. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I was playing that dead poly the other day as well, like, on, on my own and uh off stream i mean and no joke that game is so poorly optimized when it's fucking saving when that game is saving everything goes to shit the whole game goes like two frames a second it's so bad one more thank you um My ding dang little brother had me mobilized for close quarter war in about 30 seconds. Wait, what? Figuring out a blade, shave, and flashlight packed along with my cell phone apartment keys in my shorts and satchel. Figuring ready to tackle and stab someone to the point looking for a crust metal. What? Uh, I don't, but my little brother dad does, and he was staying with his dad for a bit. Damn! Right, I'm sure I can... Okay, maybe I can't. Alright, let me move out your way first. That's just... Does it have to be on foundation? It has to be on foundation, doesn't it? God damn it, I'm gonna... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's because that's too high up. Okay. Well, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. No, just... Fuck me! There we go. Jesus Christ. So you want to find that sweet spot? Fuck you. There we go. I know why it won't fit there, because uh, the other stuff was in the way. But yeah, there we go. We'll put some more foundation down later. But either way, we've got... Oh, I don't like that. I don't why why is this here? Why why is this like this? Why are these middle segments here? Why? Did why? It's horrible. It's fucking horrible. God damn it. Right. Uh iron and cobble for the living compartment corner. That could be a good idea. But we do need one of them as well. But I've used all my super ally. Right, anyway, so we've got the starting of our base. I'm gonna put some windows on it and all that shit. I'm gonna make it look homey as fuck also them little silver pillar things over there that's apparently where you can get a lot of aluminium if you don't uh 
like if you if you don't find many in containers anymore so we might have to go over there and check out but yeah sorry i was so far behind on half the messages there also jedi how are you doing buddy I didn't realize that you were in bloody chat are you stupid or something I mean, I like to think I'm clever, but we all know I'm not. I like to think I'm not stupid, but I'm 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 the big brain. I'm the big brain, but big big brain Julio nailed it. Right. Um. Oh yes, uh, osmium and sulfur. I still don't I haven't come across any sulfur, but we are now 24%. We're a quarter of the way towards the. Um. Water stage, but there's no water farming yet, which is. I mean, I don't know how the game works completely yet, so yeah. But we've got the water collectors on the go. I don't exactly. Wait, what the hell? I thought that was the stars in the sky, but it's not. What is that flowing around in the top of them? It's so weird. Oh, that's all it does. Why'd I build four of these? Uh, three of these. Why did I actually build three of these? I, I don't need three of these. Dang it! And I a fucking dumbass. Right, let's get rid of all of them. There we go. Just keep the one. I should have realised that's what they do, but I didn't. Right. So we've now got some resources. Wait, is it two of everything? There is. Good. Good, right, I didn't lose anything there. Right, so we can put some of this water away. And that's it. Right, let's drink one of them. Let's put this lot away in here. Oh, shit. I still have two Suprello left. I didn't realise that. Oh, well. Right. Ugh. Right, so we've got our little uh, base over there which is where we want everything to end up so we might start getting a few of this stuff and putting them over there um what the plan is so is find areas to put everything so they maybe build some foundation for some of them um and start just kind of stacking a lot of stuff up on foundation so that way it all just looks a lot neater so like have one area for the drills one area for the power stuff one area for the plant stuff um, and so on uh, What I might do though is wait until we reach tier 4 on the heaters because I believe then once go outside I might be wrong Yeah, we're quarter of the way there now uh, Still don't have any more chips. What's that? Living compartment glass Wait, is that for the roof? Okay then Yeah, weird I am. Right, I do need to make some of these so I don't actually fucking lose where I'm at. So if we actually build one of them, what is that I need? Uh, silicon titanium. Silicon, and I use a lot of titanium really, but we can find one again. And we'll put this beacon over there uh, by that base. Uh, depends on what part of Ohio, the part I'm in. It's known for being incredibly boring, but the parts of the town. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Then again, you're applying to the uh, Rainbow Jedi anyway, so. I mean, to be fair, we're over here. I mean, you do get people who will sit there and walk around with a fucking knife on them, on them just because they think they're hard by doing that. They think they're fucking hard as nails by doing that. But the fact of that is the norm over there, or you feel like that's the norm to basically do that because you're fucking worried for someone's life, that's a scary thought, I'm not going to lie. That is a fucking scary thought. Stop fucking cutting my boosters out.
Right, and we're back. Right, so let's get this. Um, let's get this beacon made. Let's just plunk it right there. Uh, change color. We'll make this bright. Not that it's going to help me much, but we'll make it bright red. Oh, I see. But yeah, we'll make it bright red. There we go. So there's an it's red Be beacon. That's where home is. I really don't like. That's the thing. I don't like that. The. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's my own fault for picking red, but I don't like that the beacons are just literally a six-sided fucking shape. Like, the outline of a six-sided shape. That's it. Like, eh. They need to make the icons a bit more, like, something a bit more fucking bold. Rather than just a random fucking six-sided shape. Because honestly, to me, that is going to be hard to fucking see regardless. Let's just change it to white. I should be able to see it anywhere then. Yeah, that's a lot better to see. Way better. Yeah. But yeah, the whole just having it as like a just an outline of the shape is kind of I don't know. It's like it's it's really hard to see. Whereas if they just make it like a solid uh, a solid item a solid picture, it'd be a way easier to see. And if you could change the picture, that'd be even better as well. So you know where's uh, what's where. I mean, you could change the colour, but that's about it. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why I keep fucking yawning. Right, so. Um, right, so yeah, we're about 30% of the way towards the water. So I'm going to pause that there. What we're going to do is going to go for another quick break. We've been going for another hour and a half since the last break. Um, so we're going to go for another quick break. Um, oh my God. Fucking Captain Capable's playing bloody grounded. God damn. Has he ever played that before? Shit. Anyway, we're going to go for a quick break. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Make sure to get yourself something to drink. Go get your legs stretched. Very important you do that, and we'll be back in a few minutes, alright guys? Mm. I'm messing up all the bloody buttons. The fuck is my channel become? But yeah, that's it, we got it. I am, I'm, 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 I'm fairly I I think I'm fairly certain that we're wholesome here kinda really really pushing her like that oh 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 she pissed oh she pissed Bitch, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Well, oh my god. Oh my day, what the fuck, where are you? Holy shit, what? I got jumps. Wait, why am I shorter now? I heard a fucking birdie, uh, uh, birdie, a bear, a, bird, a birdie bear, a burly bear. Flying bear. Ooh. I'd be terrified. Potatoes. Excuse me, give me a second. Hey, 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 hey. If he comes in the doorway behind me, I'm gonna be pissed. Ah, you fucker! I shit myself, you fucking. Back up, 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 back we're gonna have this in the quad bike together and then have that one in. Oh! 
It's uh oh ah I'm I'm um <laughs> Oh wait 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 come back here Oh What the hell? Um Oh, uh, wait, oh a minute. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I said once I get out. God damn it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesus hey. <laughs> Oh, Cena, look at me! <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh my Wait god! <laughs> I need that as a clip! Oh my fucking god! Oh <laughs> what? Get out of the fucking house! Excuse me, in my house, get out here! Thank you. <sighs> Popo left the. I did Hey, right over here, my fucking edge, you little. No! Fuck! What? You got one in your fucking foot. I just lost two fucking arrows because of you, you prick. Ow, little I can bit. Insult it. Insult it. Insult it. Insult it. Insult uh, mate, I'm, I'm running out of them now. Um, you suck, you suck. Fight, fight, fight. And you call yourself fucking Scottish. Uh, what, mate, I was born here, I didn't choose it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should play A nil dis. What? A nil. A nil destruction? What? What even is that? Why is there a light coming from your crotch? Because that's where the best magic happens. You literally, your crotch is glowing at me! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Look at my stream! <laughs> the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Baloney, Jamie, you're supposed to have gone to sleep. Baloney. Baloney. That's no me, that's no me, that's no me. Aren't you in the junk? <laughs> and for the longest time, I didn't even bother with it. But... I... <clears throat> Someone said to me... Uh... Someone said to me... The, w the first word that came to my mind as soon as you said that was Peter fucking Griffin. That wasn't what I was expecting, but fuck! <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> fuck! God damn it. I'll do a little panda that will do. Now, see, that I can get behind. That I can get behind. No, I don't mean get behind. Right, we're back. I'm actually getting my buttons figured out a lot better now. Anyway, anyway, um, oh shit, yeah, right, okay, right, 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 so where were we at? Oh yeah, uh, food, uh, that's the wrong button for the food, that's the right button for the food. Uh, um, we've got water for days, we've got plenty of food to see us too. <laughs> uh, some oxygen just in case, you know what, I'll stick a couple of bottles of water in there as well. Because we need the space. Right. Um, so we need to. I won't do the. Uh, once I have more free time, I wouldn't mind helping you out making new montage with fresh clips. Oh, that's the plan. That, that's the thing. I do plan on using, uh, especially now that I've got a clip it button, because the amount of times that good clips have been, been missed. But um, I do actually have plan to uh, 
make another montage, but like for the best best bits of 20, uh, 2022, because that, that video that you see my there, that's literally just the best bits of 2021. So uh, I'm hoping to make another video of best bits of 2022 as well. And that should probably be, I mean, it'll be a while off yet because obviously it's best bits of 2022. So it'll more likely be arriving back in, uh, uh, in like December-ish time. But yeah, December, January time. Smack for the sock. I swear to God. It better be fucking fresh. It better be goddamn fresh. What are you doing, Twisted Wolf Chick? Right, so what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to build them just yet. Uh, communication antenna would actually be handy. No, not that. Right, so we've got some aluminium. Silicon, titanium, iron, and aluminium. So, silicon... Iron, I just need titanium. I will actually we'll, we'll actually build this over by the other base. So we'll make our way to the other base and find some tide. I thought that was titanium. We'll find some titanium on the way and uh, build that over there. Because with the with the uh, nuclear reactors, they power anything on the planet. So yeah, that's good. Um, can't reach shoes. God damn it. Well, I mean, that's that's better, I suppose. Uh, I'm good as well, thanks, buddy. I'm actually, you know, honestly, like, last couple of days, I've, I've been in, like, a really good fucking mood, which is uh, honestly awesome. There we go. Right, so let's build this thing up on here. Bosh. Right, the, right above the entrance. So that should help us with getting our messages, and which is what we need this for. Iron, silicon, and magnesium. So let's get that built as well. So magne magnesium. Uh, what was it? Two silicon and one iron. Titanium, silicon. There we go. Silicon and iron. There we go. So we should be able to build that screen now. At least that's a starting point for the screens. Uh, might build all the screens here, actually. There we go. And there we go. So yeah, that's for any messages that we get coming in. Uh, I'll, we'll need to get that, but only once we can actually send satellites up. So we'll need to transfer some of this. You know what? We will start transferring everything over. Let's do that now. Uh, I'm at 14k points. My bad, 15k. Damn. And you can't find much to bloody... You could get your name in the game, you know. Um, do you know martial arts or kickboxing could help out also? Yeah, that could help a wee bit. Uh, did I need it? But it doesn't mean I don't know how to fight. I took her uh, in Taekwondo. Oh, we're back. We're down here. A uh, long time ago, but family moved and didn't get back into it. Ah. Oh, there we go. New message received. Right. Um. Up we get. Jesus. Right. Let's get these screens deconstructed. There we go. And we'll have the resources already of what we... Hydration law. Oh, shut up. Quit your whining game. Wee. I love these boosters. Uh, when I can kidnap you for a game again, my name will be in the game. No, not, no, I don't mean like that. I mean putting your name in one of the lockers. You could redeem that. I mean to use some channel points. There's, there is actually quite a few channel point redemptions that you just could use if you just wanted to, but some of them will only work like, like some of the um, redemptions will only work uh, in certain games. All right, so let's put that there. All right, let's get the other one. Progress. Put that. Uh, 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 uh. What? 
that hurts my ears all the fucking time. Alright, uh, blueprint screen. There. I know they're not perfectly aligned, but you know. Power screen. It is time. But who? Who is worthy Hello? to be trusted Jonathan with the secret Goody. to limitless power to Holy become the shit. Dragon Warrior? I don't know. 17 fucking months. 17 months. I uh, should come back to Mr. at some point. It looks like a whole new game almost. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did, I did play the game. First things first. I did play the game um, when they made the new map. But um, I don't know. I felt like there was... I, I, I felt like the, the map is great. But I just feel like there's not... Like, there's a lot missing to it. So, like, a lot of the areas that they've added to the new map is good to explore, but there's nothing really to find. You know what I mean? There's, like, literally nothing to find in the, some of the new big areas. So I kind of stopped playing it for a while. But I might jump back into it. I might jump back, back into it. But, yes, Jonathan, buddy, nice to see you again. Thank you again for the 17 months. I really appreciate that. You now get to pick... Three flavors. You now get to pick three flavors for me to fucking eat. 50 50 chance if, uh, if I get a good or a bad. So I'll tell you all the bad ones because that's, that's the only one that anyone's ever fucking interested in. Old bandage, toothpaste, stink bug, dirty dishwater, dead fish, stinky socks, boogers, bath, rotten egg, or liver and onions. Oh, right, okay, okay, so you want your name in the game, right. Uh, I'll remember that Twisted Wolf chick. I'll put one of your names on the lockers, yeah? Don't worry, I'll do that for you. So, yeah, which one's Jonathan? I had something there. I think I've had too much fucking water in my fucking stomach. feels weird now. But you gotta keep hydrated. Um, get uh, you get one good one of your choosing. Then I want rotten egg and stink bug. Right, it's fifty-fifty chance. Well, like, like with the old ones, but this has been boozle. So it's the same as the old ones. So uh, you say you want rotten egg and stink bug. Yellow and brown. Right. Okay. 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 Let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. So rotten egg is bright yellow, right? So that's rotten egg or buttered popcorn. That's one. Um, think bug or toasted marshmallow. That's the second one. Um, and I get to pick one myself. So we'll go with. Uh, you know what? I'll try the I'll try the liver and onions or cappuccino one. I'll try that one. Uh, when I get a chance to get a new bean, you will know immediately which one I would go for. Which one would you go for? That's what's worrying. Right, so let's... I'm going to leave the stink bug one to last because I've actually had that one before and that is fucking horrible. So we'll go for... Oh, shit. Ah. We'll go for the liver and onions or cappuccino one first. See what that's like. Max was fit, rotten fish, yeah. Okay, that's definitely liver and onions, but I like liver and onions, and that's fucking disgusting. That is fucking horrible. Ugh. Oh, so that was liver and onions, and that is honestly fucking horrible. That's the worst liver and onions I've ever fucking had. I'll check it out then, yeah. I'll check it out because I wouldn't mind getting back into that game again. Right, so. Rotten egg or buttered pop popcorn? Let's actually have a little drink first. What's that horrible fucking taste down? Right. It was more fragrancy than anything, but it was like a horrible fragrance. So weird. Right. So, yeah. Rotten egg or buttered popcorn?
buttered popcorn. Yeah. Um, I do not have a clue. With that game, I honestly do not have a fucking clue. I really don't. Right. So. This is the one I'm not looking forward to. Now, if it's Toasted Marshmallow, that's fine. But Stink Bug, I'm not looking forward to because I've had it before and it's fucking god-awful. Absolutely god-awful. So, here we go. Why can't I tell? Oh, that's Stink Bug. Oh. Why can't I tell? Because it fucking hits you out of nowhere. Oh! I fucking hate that one. Oh. No. 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 Just no. 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 That, it... Don't you fucking yay that shit. Fuck off. That is fucking disgusting. All my days. Get stink bugged. Fuck you, Soviet. <laughs> Fucking asshole. All oh, my days. Right, so we've got the screen set up here. Oh. Uh, what have we got on us? Uh, oh, yeah, we need to drink, don't we? Um, we'll eat as well. We'll grab some more when we get back there. Right, let's get back and... Yeah, we're basically transferring everything from over there to over here now. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, oh. Okay, that that's I, I I don't want to taste it again. God damn. That's literally stink bug I can taste from that burp. That is disgusting. Oh. I really don't like the stink bug one. Ugh. Right. Ugh. Oh, that, that that it's that fucking fragrance of it. It's it's fucking ooh. It lingers. Right, let's get rid of that. And let's take rid of that and that. There we go. Oh, we can take apart some other stuff. Um, let's take apart that. And let's... Can I... Thank you. Yep. And take it apart. There we go. Alright, so let's take all this stuff over. I will bore a uh, bore. I will build more growers as well. Because uh, I'm not even on the right fucking screen. God damn it. Um Why the hell? Capture it. There we go. Um I will do more build more growers as well. Because uh honestly, like that like I, I will need that whole fucking food thing eventually because the rations will eventually run out. Right, so, uh, we will build... What did we take apart? We took apart the, this one. Ah, nose. Right, come on, 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 come on. All right, we'll build this one. Craft station tier two. Eh. Get it as close as I can. Get it as close as I can. Oh my god, it can actually dip into that one. Let's not have it dipping in now. There we go. And then a grower. Where the fuck are they gone? There they are. Food grower. There we go. Bosh. So we'll put that there for now, but we'll probably put more uh, f more uh, others further on later on. Right, so that's growing nicely. Um, is it just me or has this gotten darker? Oh, that would explain it. It is dark. Right, so, um, we've got the screens, we've got the crafting tables, we've got the growers, let's go and, uh, wait, the, 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 this, recycling machine, I forgot about that, let's put the recycling machine over here, um, come on, come on, there we go, that'll do. There we go. Right, okay, okay, okay. Um, 
gonna go check out Miss now. No worries at all, buddy. Thank you again. Appreciate that sub. And uh, hope you have a good one, buddy. But yes, we will be getting back to some Mist at some point as well. You know what I might actually do in a bit? What I might actually do in a bit is I might actually switch to one of my uh, PS1 or PS2 games. Because um, like I say, I've got it all set up. All I've got to do is plug in a wire and uh, load up the captured, uh, the captured device. And uh, yeah, I might start off like some uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 or something and see how that plays on stream. I'm just hoping it's okay because when I tried it yesterday in a Discord call, there was a little bit of buzzing. Um, so, do I get all of them? I get all of them. Um, so, it's kind of a little bit of a problem. I will take the storage containers last. That should be fine. So that's the heaters, and we'll take some of the drills. Yeah, can't take any more. We'll take what the oh yeah, we'll take this drill. So one drill and three heaters. I got very dark very quick and then came back light again. Hmm. I swear, God, I'm still tasting that fucking stink bug. That is goddamn awful. I do not recommend to anyone. It is fucking rancid. I'm going to need something fucking sweet after this just to get rid of that bloody taste. Right, so one drill. Uh, I will put the drill. I'll actually have the drill face. Whoa, where the fuck are you? Where are you, where are you going? Right, we'll have the drill facing that way. There we go. So make it actually look like it's fucking digging something. Right, let's put the heaters down. Two, uh, three heaters. One. Come on. No, 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 no. There we go. One, two, and three. Yes, so we've got the three heaters back again So heat is going back up now we get the other drills. I Want to move the power last because it's gonna fucking stop everything from working Wait, I've only just seen that last message there twisted. I am so sorry. What, what do you mean you need to do something similar when gaming? Because I, I completely lost track of the whole fucking conversation. Right, so deconstruct. Uh, actually, we'll see what's in there first. No. There we go. There we go. Jesus Christ, that took a while. Right, so that should be... That is just enough. Jesus. But we've got more water as well. So that's good. Oh yeah, I've been uh, seeing a lot of videos about uh, repo men lately, and uh, I'll tell you one thing: there's some crazy motherfuckers that they have to deal with. There are some majorly crazy motherfuckers that they have to deal with. So, like, one of them that I watched, these two lads. They were, right, well, the first one that I watched, this uh, they were taking this girl's car because no one had kept up with the payments. It, her big burly fucking dad came out and started trying to fucking threaten them and uh, fucking trying to throw his weight around and all this that, and the other. I believe this is in England. Um, Come on. Oh, why does it keep turning back this way by itself? That's That's kind of annoying. There we go. Um, yeah, so he comes out fucking going, that's my daughter's car, stop touching it, blah, 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 get your mitts off it, all this, that, and the other. And trying to, like, throw them around and get them out of the car and that, yeah? Anyway, eventually, 
He then picks one of them up and slams him into the fucking windscreen. And I'm like, these people are fucking screwed in their head. Why don't you just keep up with your goddamn payments instead of having problems like this? Like, what's going through the mind? Oh, uh, who the fuck needs to pay? I'll, I'll just kick their ass if they try taking shit off me. This is mine. It's like, no, you, t you go into an agreement, you fucking make the payments, you asshole. It's not like they weren't doing good for fucking money. So anyway, that was one of them. Another, a second one, it was these two fucking lads who thought they were hard as nails, right? Like fucking chavs as we call them over here, right? The lads needed to grab. Archer, how you do, buddy? Uh, the lads need, the, the, the lad, the repo lads need to grab this car. And these fucking, fucking tweeny boppers, these fucking little kids who think they're fucking gangster as fuck, right? decided to grab their fucking old washing machine from off this little balcony thing. So the balcony's only about, like, fucking the height of, like, one room, right? And they throw it over the edge of the balcony on top of the car while one of the repo men is in the car. Uh, lads, hard as jelly beans. Yeah, that's the fucking truth. So they throw this washing machine on top of the fucking car. The guy inside, one of the repo men, he fucking shit himself jumped out of the car, saw what they did, didn't even go to go through the building, no, he just scaled the fucking side of the building over the railing, grabbed one of the lads, and dangled them head first over the fucking railing, just yelling at them, is this, do you think that's fucking funny? Do you think it's fucking funny? Blah, 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 blah. and fucking this hard as nails lad fucking just sat there yelling, for fuck's sake, take the car, pull me back up, take the car, pull me back up. I'm pissing myself fucking laughing. Only just because these fucking idiots think they can get away with shit like this and think it's fucking hilarious to nearly kill someone because someone says no to them. You know what I mean? No, you go into an agreement with somebody, fucking pay. You know what I mean? And then the last one that I watched, it was this uh, dude working, uh, like, it, it was while he was at work. And they were the repo men were decent enough to pull him to one side and say, listen, we're here to repo your car. We didn't want to tell you in front of your work friends because um, we didn't want to embarrass you. And the, and the dude was going, well, this is my work car. I need it. I go, well, it's not a lot we can do about that. It's, it's, it, we're repoing it. And they give him the letter and all that and the, the warrant that they have. Anyway, he then comes over with this fucking claw bloody JCB thing that he's got and starts destroying the car, even picking it up and nearly fucking taking the bloody guy's heads off with it. Fucking repo work over here is dangerous goddamn work. Some crazy motherfuckers out there who will do anything to fucking just go against what anyone says. It's bloody ridiculous. At the end of the day, like I've always said, like me, I, I, as long, like every time I do make an agreement or something, I will make sure I pay it off. I hate owing money. I fucking loathe owing money. So the sooner I can get any bills paid off, I will pay them fuckers off. And so I have one question to ask you again. Okay, here we go. What's this, what's this life-changing important question? Sorry, life-changing important question. Go on then, what is it? Let's grab these seeds out. I'm fucking stuck. Alright. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. Oh boy. Yep, I fucking knew it. Um, I forgot to put that down, that's why. Um. Alrighty then. That's a problem. You know what? We'll have to. We need two silicon and one of the other one. I know what I need. I know what I need. I mean, I'm going to be coming back here anyway, but we'll get three of the tubes set up and then we'll come back and get the other one. Uh, other than edible food. Good kind of food. Um. Tasty food. That's what kind of food. Tasty food. I'm so good with this spice. So good. <laughs> what the fuck does that stand for? Uh, 
Right, um, let's get in, get some oxygenation. Not to sell, don't I sell what kind of tasty food to get? <laughs> uh. Oh, you know my fucking. Uh... Really? I can't plunk him on there? Alrighty then. Right, so let's plunk him over here for now. And uh, two, and. What the fuck is this one doing? Okay, that was weird. Right, let's plunk that one in there. Plunk that one in there. And plunk that one in there. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. We'll go and get the other ones. I wonder what that was then. Oh! Uh. Oh yeah, my other PS1 game arrived as well. It finally fucking arrived yesterday. Um, the Italian job. So we got that as well now. Uh, what we'll do is we'll make this last run and then we'll uh, we'll actually go for another quick break and then when we get back, we'll actually switch over to some original Need for Speed Underground 2. The original. And I will be playing it on PS2. I honestly can't wait. Give me that. Right, so let's get some of these solar panels over there as well. Um, that'll do. That'll do. Don't want to take too much over. It's waning again. Yay. We're at fifty percent water. It, I'm quite unless it's once we reach a hundred percent of the water stage, that it actually starts filling. Do do do. Mind you, that does make more sense. It's waning. It's pouring. Right. Um. Why have I got deconstruction on? I want construction. So what did we gather? We gathered solar panels in the last veggie two. Alright, put that last flower in there, that's fine. And we gathered a couple of the tier two solar panels. Put these over here for now. Wait. Wait, I'm sure I dismantled two of them, didn't I? Wait. Are you stupid or something? I did dismantle two of the them, didn't I? Surprise, penis! Where? Oh, well, let's put this down somewhere because it's taking up inventory space. Put it right there. Kitty, how you doing, buddy? Uh oh, it was three. What the solar panel? Oh, women! I bet you an aluminium was left behind. Uh, going to bed, head is hurt. No worries at all, Twisted Wolf Chick Buddy. As always, thank you for coming by. Always appreciate. It. Hope you have a good night and hope that headache goes away. Make sure you're drinking plenty. Uh, we'll stream up. Leave stream up. Though. Oh, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for the lurk. Um. I'm doing good, have been lurking as always. Oh, well, I always appreciate that. I always really appreciate that. But, um, for any of you who are retro game fans, in a minute, we are actually going to be swapping over. Um, it is such a good game, isn't it? I'm having such a good time with this game right now. Um, I don't think I'm smart enough to actually play it. Oh, you'd be surprised. That's the thing. This game... Even like I'm not smart, not by a long shot, but this game is actually quite simple to figure out, and it teaches you as you go, so you don't have to worry about whether you're smart or not. Right, let's grab out two of them, take one of them, I have one of them as well, and grab one else. New message received. I'll check all your messages in a minute. I keep forgetting to do that. Actually, I did. Yep, fucking aluminium was dropped. Right, let's actually grab a couple more. Um, right, there we go. That should do it. Uh, wait, what is it for the... No, I ain't got enough space space for them. 
I do like you that you get 100% of your resources back again when you're uh, moving shit. But no, seriously, if you ever want to play this game, Kitty, get it. Honestly, I guarantee you will enjoy it. You really will, because it is just such a fun game, game to play. But yeah, we are going to be switching over in a minute for the last part of the stream. We are going to be switching over to a retro game. We are going to be playing, just mainly so I can actually get it tested out for stream. We are going to be playing some Need for Speed Underground 2, the original game that was out on PS2. We are going to be playing it on PS2. Right, come on. There we go. Right, there we go. So we've got four solar panels set up. We should be good for now. How's our power actually looking? Ah, oh, so by this is only six. Oh, no, wait, that is right, isn't it? Yeah, there's two more over there. So there's four here and two more over there. Okay, I'll get you. So six solar panels and two of them, and we have 113 remaining. Ooh. Oof. Nice. We do need to build more of the nuclear reactors, so I'm going to have to go out farming a shit ton of uranium. But yeah, that's looking pretty good up to now. We're going to carry on transferring um, more of the stuff over to here. Uh, oh, which reminds me. Um, you know what? Before we do go, we're going to do one more run, but that's because I need to put Twisted Wolf Chick's name in the game. Completely forgot about that. Checking my game bookshelf. No worries. Uh, I think I still have that on PS2. No problem at all. Go check it out. But yeah, uh, if you actually, like I've said before, uh, actually I'll wait till uh, Kitty's got back because obviously Kitty's a retro game fan. Ooh, it's a sandstorm up in here. Oh shit. Uh, so we'll put uh, Twisted Wolf Chick's name on the other big container. This one here. Uh, there we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I'll do it. There we go. So we've got Max Fiction and Twisted Wolf Chick. Love it. Right, so uh, that's what I need to do there. Let's also take back, take back some of these solar panels. Uh, no, I don't have it anymore. I think my brother stole it years ago. Oof. Oof. But... If you actually go, because I do plan on playing a lot more retro games, so if you actually go and check out my Discord, in the in the uh, game nerd out section, I've actually put some pictures up of all the PS1 and PS2 games that I have at the moment. Um, there is also the Italian job in that list as well. I can't remember if I took a picture with the Italian job in, um, but the Italian job is in there as well. But um, check out that list of games. And whichever ones you would like to see me playing on stream, write them down and uh, write them down in in the, ga nerd, the, the game nerd out section. Just write it underneath and uh, or type it out, whatever. And uh, I'll basically, after everyone's picked what games they want to see, I will then <clears throat> uh, pick out which ones are most highly voted and we'll play them. Right, uh, so how much have we got? I think we've got enough for one more, one of these. Yep, I figured that would happen. Figured that would happen. Should be alright though, when we get to the other side we should be grand. <coughs> now we just drop this lot off over here. And then all we got to worry about is the containers. Should be pretty soon that we should actually start seeing water forming everywhere. Right. 
So, solar panels. Remember, there was only two of them that I had to take down. One. Oh, that's brought everything back up and running again, so that's good. Right, and then uh, reactor. Uh, we'll plunk them closer to the base, because that's going to be healthy for me. Right, and then there's one reactor over there. Yeah, so that that's good for now. So we've got the, everyone's names down. We've got everything up and running. So yeah, 113.55 kilowatts uh, available. Um, hopefully we should be all right. Fuck me, those heaters are taking a lot. But again, that's actually a known fact. Heaters take anything that produce that is built to produce heat to, uses the most power. So that makes sense. Uh, the veggie tubes, I'm not too sure about them, but I'd say drills would probably use more power than the veggie tubes. Not gonna lie. In reality, I would think the drills would use more powers than the veggie tubes. But either way, right. Um, so yeah, we've done pretty well getting everything over here now. It's looking pretty nice. It's coming along. Um, a lot of, I think this room maybe, I'm probably gonna use this room for storage. And I don't know what I'm going to use this room for. Maybe this could just be my room. Just a nice little chill vibe room. Put windows up. Have a nice little bed or something. Other stuff. Or I might take it up a level. Um, and build my room there. See how it goes. Or like a bedroom uh, up top. And a little like uh, more of a living room here. Just a chill vibing room. What is that flicker? Like, I keep getting like a flicker in. Oh well. Anyway. So we'll save that. And we'll exit to main menu. And yes, quit that. Right. So, let's actually see what Twisted Wolf Chick did. Uh, Twisted Wolf Chick, what am I talking about? Let's see what uh, Kitty here actually put. Right, so we do have a couple of... Uh... Oh, no, you've just arrived. Okay, let me give you your roll. There we go. So yeah, uh, in the, okay, so you haven't picked any yet, but in the game Nerd Out, uh, yeah, uh, Italian job isn't there. So we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or sorry for you American Sorcerer's Stone, uh, Siphon Filter 2, I'm actually looking for the first one. Tomorrow, uh, 007 Tomorrow Never Dies, Parasite Eve 2, Alien Trilogy, Chasey Express, Croc Legend of the Gobbles, Die Hard Trilogy. Oh, the Italian job is there. Wait. Okay, that's all right. I thought I had two copies of the Italian job now. I was going to be pissed. But anyway, Italian job, Dino Crisis 1 and 2. Um, Driver 1 and 2. Duke Nukem Time to Kill, Fade to Black, Gex Deep Cover Gecko, uh, but that's the English version, so it has the English voice actor doing Gex, not the American version. Uh, G Police Weapons of Justice, that's like a weird sci fi sh uh, 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 futuristic helicopter type one. Um, four of the Legend of Spyro games, all for PS2. Uh, Dog's Life, Driver 3. Uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Need for Speed Underground 2, Need for Speed Carbon, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and Resident Evil 4. But, Resident Evil 4, I've already got that on Steam, so I don't really need to worry about playing that on PS2 too much. But, either way, wires move out my way. What's, oh, that's my headphone wire. Oh, shit. Right. So, PS1, also, I will have to admit, the PS1 games... I won't be able to play them until, um, give me a second guys, because I need to skip this song. I know it's a good song, but I will actually get in trouble for it. Um, PS1 I won't be able to play just yet, because I actually need to dig out my old PS1 memory card before I can play any of them. But for now, I'm going to grab out some Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, what we're going to do first, though, is I'm actually going to switch us over to a break for a couple of minutes so I can get one, I can get it all set up. And, uh, I mean, it only takes things, but uh, I, there's a horrible fucking buzzing that can happen if I do it wrong. 
No, I still have my old PS1. Oh, well, I've got a PS2. They're actually cheaper in the long run because PS1s are more retro, but you can play both PS1 and PS2 games on PS2. So it makes life easier just getting a PS2. Um, but yeah, so we're going to jump on some Need for Speed Underground 2 in a bit. Again, I will dig out my old PS1 memory card. But for the moment, we are going to go for a... Pause that. We're going to go for a quick break. So uh, while I'm setting up, uh, I'll be right back. Go get yourself something to drink. Go get your legs stretched. We will be right back with some Need for Speed Underground 2. Is my channel become? Well, yeah, that's it. We got it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fairly. I, I think I'm fairly certain that we're wholesome here. Kinda. Really, really pushing her like that. Oh, 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 she pissed. Oh, she pissed. Bitch, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh my day, what the fuck, where are you? Holy shit, what? Wait, why am I shorter now? I heard a fucking birdie a uh, uh, birdie a bear a, bir a birdie bear a burly bear blind bear Ooh, that'd be terrifying potatoes excuse me give me a second hey 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 <laughs> If he comes in the doorway behind me, I'm gonna be pissed. Ah, you fucker! I shit myself, you fucking. Back up, 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 <laughs> oh wait 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 come back here oh what the hell um oh, uh, wait, oh a wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> Said once I get out! God damn it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus H! <laughs> oh! Cena, look at me! <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh my Wait god! <laughs> I need that as a clip! Oh my fucking god! Oh <laughs> what? Get out of the fucking house! Excuse me, in my house! Get out of here! Thank you. <sighs> what? Popo left the. I did it. Well, hey, right over here, my fucking edgy little. No, fuck. What? Well, I got one in your fucking foot. I just lost two fucking arrows because of you, you prick. Yeah. Ow, little bitch. Insult it. Insult it. Insult. Pale fucker. Uh, mate, I'm, I'm running out of them now. Um, you suck, you suck. Fight, fight, fight. And you call yourself fucking Scottish. Uh, what, mate, I was born here, I didn't choose it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should play a nil dis- what? A nil, a nil destruction, what?
What even is that? Why is there a light coming from your crotch? Because that's where the best magic happens. You yeah, literally, your crotch is glowing at me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Look at my stream. <laughs> What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Baloney, Jamie, you're supposed to have gone to sleep. Baloney. 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 Aren't you in the junk? <laughs> And for the longest time, I didn't even bother with it. But I can't. <laughs> Someone said to me, uh... "Someone said to me the w the first word that came to my mind as soon as you said that was Peter fucking Griffin." That wasn't what I was expecting, but. Fuck! <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it. I'll do a little panda that I'll do. Now, see, that I can get behind. That I can get behind. No, I don't mean get behind a panda. I wouldn't do that. But it, the... Shut up. No one sees a thing. I'll have that apple. Thank you very much. You've been a very good friend. Shush. Don't let them know where I am, please. I'll give you some chocolate bars later. Right, let's... Lot two, that one, and there you go. Kate and Rachel can go in there, and that would end up giving Scott wet dreams. There you go. Disgusting! Apples left here for bye bye bye. Woohoo! Scott, you need fuck. Get out of my face. Just no. No. Need. I'm running towards the platform. Yeah, okay. Get on the platform if you can. Which platform is it? Is it three? Oh, he's, he's... And we're back, and there it is. Look at that. Again, the quality is quite bad, I'm not gonna lie, but. There it is. We have our PS2 hooked up to the PC. I'm really proud that I figured this shit out. But I actually have my PS2 hooked up to my PC. And we have Need for Speed Underground 2 right there. I've already muted all the audio. Like the, the music audio. Because that shit will copyright claim me like you wouldn't believe. So no, that ain't happening. So yeah. Also, do you remember that as well? Look down the very bottom corner. On the opposite corner there. Look at that shit. I don't know why the frame rate's so bad on it. But look at that shit. Right? Fucking... You remember those games, the old games, where you're only able to have so many letters for your name? And that's what I had to make up for my fucking name on this. God damn. Anyway. Anyway. Let's get into it. Oh, wait. I need to change the game title. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, I heard that. I know, right? Oh, shit. Need for Speed Underground 2. Yes. Uh, it's not my... It's by far not my first playthrough, so we can get rid of that tag. There we go. Let's go. Actually, I'll put some of my... Where, where's my... There we go. Spotify is going. Right. So, uh, we'll just... I'll carry on from where I was. I didn't get very far because I've only got this... Uh, well, wait, I don't even think that's my car. Oh, no, this is the car I just made for... Because I always go for the Evo when it comes to like, creating straight off. Why does that look way too zoom f zoomed in? Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's get in. Resume Korea. I'm pretty sure I'm just at the start of the game. Yeah, so that's my car. That's my car. Do you remember the old fucking thingy? Let's go. I used to love going around and finding all the secrets on this game as well. Absolutely love it. Yeah, we are going to have to also wait for the old loading times because, again, I am playing this on PS2. But I've got the old fucking PS2 controller here and everything. Fucking hell. Feels light as a goddamn feather. So good to get back into this game. It really is. I fucking love this game. Hey, nice race back there. But here's a little 
Oh, that's got a bit of lag. Oh, Jesus. I don't know whether it's any better for you guys, but this looks atrocious to me. Oh, shit, that's... Oh, that's look back. What was... Handbrake. Oh, that's changed views. That's not what I want. No! Hi. Fuck you. Come away. Oh, that is handbrake. Okay, so square's handbrake. Right, so that's handbrake. 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 Fuck me. The handbrake does not like working, does it? It's these old cars, though. Oh, shit. That. Oh, whoa. Okay, that worked. Oh, there we go. L1 is NOS. That was very laggy, though. Yeah, there's like a, a, a fucking a few milliseconds delay there. Uh, so go for this sprint up here. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's fucking stop. Oh, no, that's a circuit. Uh, we'll go for this one. So fun about this game and the soundtrack. There really is. This game is so much fun. So much fun. I hope the quality is all right for you guys, um, because for me, on a, have it, it's on a big screen for me though, so this quality is atrocious. But yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm not. Where, oh yeah, is the left analog stick? That's kind of okay. Get back here, you little asshole! Hey, 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 don't be fucking zigzagging in front of me, asshole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the lag's not helping me at all. The blurriness is real. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I fucked up. I fucked up big time. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Catch up to him, catch up to him. God damn. Three laps of this? Holy shit. This is so fuzzy. I need the. I, I actually need to try and get all of this game on. Oh fuck me! I need to get. I need to get my skills back again. And I already know what car in the long run I'm gonna aim for. Believe it or not, my favourite car on this whole game was a Toyota Celica. I fucking love that car on this game. It's about the same as I remember it. Oh, that's good. I mean, at least it's good. It, honestly, from what I'm seeing when I'm looking over, the quality looks awesome. But from what I'm seeing here, it looks god fucking awful. I might have to take it off full screen for myself because holy shit, the bu the blurriness is fucking real. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Hell yeah. Oh, get her. No, 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 no. Not crashing to you. Not crashing to you either. Fuck you. Oh, shit. I am not the best. But I'm trying. I don't know why I used that, but it helped. It helped. See, this takes me back as well, because I used to play this game a lot with uh, my brother. My big brother. And uh, my friends. Like a, a, a very old friend of mine. Holy shit. We used to play this game so much. I fucking loved it. Come on. And the, like this game was the first one that I knew of to come out. Oh shit. Where customizing your car was a big thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't let him pass, don't let him pass, don't let him pass, don't let him pass. Aha. Fuck you. No, 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 no. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Get behind me. No! Fuck you, I'm on the last lap. Get back here. Oh, Nelly. Yeah, fuck you. Drive into that car. There's a wall. <laughs> but yeah, this was like, to, to me, this game was revolutionary. I never played, like, I played this one before I played Need for Speed Underground 1. And uh, I preferred this one, obviously. This one was just way better. Like, the whole open world side of it. It's how I fell in love with open world games. And 
the fact of... No, actually, I'm wrong there. I lie. Zelda was how I fell in love with the open world side of games. But anyway, um, like, to me, this was revolutionary, like, how much you could customise your cars and, like, stuff like that. I fucking loved it. Absolutely loved it. And this, mind you, this is also took me back to this being the point where there was so many boy races around the area, so you had so many people, like, not long after these games came out, who were going around with their shitty little cars and mo visually modifying them up to the eyeballs. Only visually. Never, like, not many of them over here did performance upgrades. They only ever did, like, visual upgrades and just made them look nice. Customising my cars. Yes. Yes. I did as well. It was so good how it worked on this game. Considering how old the game is and what they had to work with at the time, fucking revolutionary. It really was. Oh, there we go. There was the old fucking long saving times. Because it was all on the old PS fucking. It was all on the old memory card. Uh, the the memory cards themselves instead of actually having an internal store uh, storage. That was where I think uh, the original Xbox kind of uh, revolutionized a lot of consoles where they had the internal storage. I thought that was fucking brilliant, mate. And that was one of the things that actually made me like uh, Xbox over PlayStation. You never had to worry about saving. But oh, what do we get? Ooh, car speciality shop, window tint, nice. Right, uh, return to gameplay, there we go. So yeah, actually, let me have a look at the map. Wait, where's, where's the fucking map again? No, that's not it. What was the map? Oh, no, not that one. It was a directional pad. No, not that one. Fuck. There we go. So... It's... Uh, I'm having to remember here, but so the solid spots were the... Uh, the ca like the car shops and that. Um... So we've just gotten something from... Wait, which one was it? The performance shop, was it that one? No, it wasn't performance. Graphics shop, it wasn't that. Body shop, maybe? No, it was speciality shop. Where was it? If I remember rightly, where that orange uh, arrow is near the top of the map there, that was where the nearest speciality shop was. Or was it? We're going to have to find one. We're going to have to find one. I'm sure there was one on this early stage, so let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's go this way. I don't think there is, though. Oh, no, there's not one down this way. Where was it? I know it was around the edge of this first city area, so let's go and check it out. Considering there's a little bit of lag, because it's going directly into the uh, capture card and then getting thing read, it's, it's not too bad. Oh, whoa, whoa, Nelly. This takes me back so much. So fucking much. Uh, there's a drift race there. I fucking hated those races. Ah, wait a minute, it was up here. It was, uh, yeah, I remember which part of the city it was in there. If we just keep going straight up here and then to the right, we should reach it. No, you don't. Okay, 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 calm the fuck down, Jesus Christ, I didn't even see that. <sighs> also, were you guys like me? I loved to build, when I was just doing free roam like this, I loved to basically push myself and fill the nitrous bar like that. So getting close to the traffic would fill it, driving on the wrong side of the road would fill it. Yeah, let's go. I think it was down here somewhere. Pretty sure we're driving on the wrong side of the road filled it up as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I went, I took the wrong turn. I took the wrong turn. What the fuck are you? Excuse me? Dude, fuck you. I'm fucking driving right when you shouldn't have. Fucking give me right away, bitch.
Oh, so this is a car lot up here. Ah, shit. Listen, I'm good at this game, I swear. Fucking officers would my, have my fucking life. Yeah, fill the NOS always. Oh, yeah. I would do that all the time. I love doing it. Again, I apologise so hard. I am ruining this game right now by being such a bad driver, but don't worry about it. Ugh. There we go. This is, It's down here. It's down here. Ooh. It, what, wait. It, what, oh, no. A bit further around. A bit further around. Wait, where the fuck's it gone? Hold on. I know there was one up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I knew there was one up here somewhere. Car speciality shop. Hell yeah. Oh my god, them transitions, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that off full screen. Oh shit! Hey, Hold on. Style. What the hell? Did I fuck it up? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Oh, it's still playing, but it's cra It's it's broke on me. Can I? Is there any way for me to refresh it? Like, it's, it's not just for you guys there. That's for me as well. Oh, boy. Oops. Right, give us a minute. Give us a minute. I might be able to fix this just by restarting the program itself. Don't worry, don't worry. The game's still running. The game is still running. I might just need to restart the program. Device occupied. Excuse me. What? What do you mean device is occupied? Right, let's try something. I don't want to have to restart the game. Right, give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute. I'll get it, I'll get it, right? I'll, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Hold on, hold your fucking horses, alright? Hold on, I got this, I got this, I got this, right, I swear God. That's the problem with old stuff and using it on new stuff, it can be very temperamental. Oh no, no, that buzzing's back. That should work, that should work. Why is it not picking it up? What? very touchy oh yeah just a little bit it's not picking up this support oh my god no fucking is that gonna work holy shit what's happened here it, it it's there as a box but it's not fucking appearing for me Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got it. 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 And now it's in a smaller box for me as well, so it should be fine. Only problem is... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's, that should work still on the other screen as well. Right, okay. We got it back. We got it back. All right, let's, let's transition. It's... It's... It's fucked a little bit, but we can fix it. <laughs> there we go. Holy shit, that fucking had give me a bloody heart attack. God damn. Right, okay, okay, so we're back. We're back either way. We're, we're good. We're good. Chill out. We're good. Right. So, custom gauges. What have we got? 
I don't even remember what I had there. I, I did always like that one. But that one's adorable. Shame we didn't have a panda one. I don't even know if I have that. But I only have 500, so I don't really want to wait. Shit, that's the wrong button. Um, neons. Yeah, first time I ever saw fucking neons on a car. Fucking loved it. You know what? Yeah, we'll get the red neons. I'm more for visual myself. I love visuals. Uh, engine neon. Can I get a trunk neon? Fuck me, that's taking me back. Window tint. I always just went for um, just the blacks. Because it just looked nicer. So yeah, we'll go for some of that. Lights. Xenon, 4000. Hell yes. Nitrous Purge, fucking hell. Um, I could never figure, like, honestly, I figured out with the Nitrous Purge eventually, but the Hydraulic's always a pain in the ass to me. I got them anyway, but I fucking hated it. I want, uh, I went with the Kitty one. There is, with the, with your, with your name, Kitty, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Spinners, Split Hood, Doors, all my days. Oh, this takes me back. This takes me back so much. Oh my days. I love it. I love it. Anything cute and fluffy. Yeah. 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 But yeah, them. The information icons or the money icons, like the ones dotted around the city, I loved collecting them. Going around and finding them. It's like... Uh, with the very first part of the game, one thing I actually learned, with the very, very, very first part where you get given the 350s dead to start off, you could um, you could actually make a decent bit of money right off the bat there. So if you were to do the, 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 uh, the open world races with the orange arrows that you see on the minimap down there, um, if you were to race all of them, and then go and find the two races that are available and the third secret race. That was the max money you could gain. And then she would basically shut you down until you came. Like it forced you to go and pick your own car. And then you'd had a decent bit of money to start you off with. Yeah, that's, that feels a little better. But that blurriness, man, that fuzziness of the fucking lights lagging. But yeah, I am actually experiencing some more life on this lot, right? So what have we got? What race have we got here? Drift race. We'll leave them. We'll leave them because I'm not the best of them, especially with like. Let's find us a nice sprint. Wrong button. Uh, drag drift street X. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. Also, oh, there's only these three left. Uh, we're over the opposite side of the city for that one. Uh, drag, I wasn't a big fan. We'll go for the Street X. Wait, Street X? No, wait, Street X was always what you used to leave to last, wasn't it? Fuck it, we'll go for the drag. Go for the drag race. I can never remember how to do it, but we'll go for the drag race. Oh, hello, little arrow. How I've missed you. Oh, shit. I swear I'm good. I swear I'm good. Oh, and I'll tell you one thing, you can't have to tell this fucking country's worrying about the value of the fucking money going down. Because it's all I ever goddamn bloody see in the fucking bottom of my screen anymore. How much our value, the value for our money's going down compared to other countries. And that's why we're getting fucking charged through the eyeballs for pretty much everything. Right. Uh, so now I need to remember how to do the drag races. Hey, yo, man. Street drag is the influence behind everything we got. Check it like this. The RPM is the key to getting ahead of the competition. That's too tall, yo, man. Right time and rock it into the lead with speed. But if you slow about it, you'll end up at the back of the pack. Launch is followed by shift, so it's next. It's the daddy of success, so hit it up at the perfect shift point for max power. 
Now remember, if you slam it too soon or too late, you'll be coming in last. If the other guy gets past you, just chill and slide into his slipstream and sit in his draft. Gain precious speed and then make your move to bounce right on by. This is gonna be big, dog. You ready? Good. The Go daddy of success. Did we really speak like that back then? We did. We did. <laughs> or at least they did in all the games. That this was the rage back then. This shit was legit the fucking rage. <sighs> them loading times. Gotta love them loading times. There we go. Oh, short shift. So how am I shifting? There we go. Uh, right trigger. And the lag is bad. As soon as I see blue, shift. I've not got this. I've not got this. No, can't. Okay, didn't let me change lanes. Yeah, I've not got oh, this. I didn't even see you there, buddy. Oh shit! Okay, let me just uh, let me let me just retry that and try again. Cause holy fuck, that was bad. But yeah, it's the trigger buttons. Oh bollocks! I can never fucking do the starting point well. Well, oh my days. Let's get in his slipstream. Perfect shift. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got nitrous. Oh shit, 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 that was too close. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> this is why I hate the drags. Uh, so much harder on the type of races. I found it easy to have it in third person rather than the first. I uh, see, now on these drag races, um, it's automatically following one path anyway, so you never really have to worry. All you have to worry about is changing lanes on the drag path, the drag races. So you just tap the left and right buttons. But I get what you mean with the whole, uh, like with every other race. We could do this. We could do this. We got this. Oh shit, again. Oh, perfect shift though. Oh shit, shit turn. Right, keep in front of him here. Ah shit, short shift. To be fair, these old games, it is kind of hard to tell which lane the traffic is going to be in in front of you. That was a bad choice. Hey boy, you pain in the ass! No, go no, one, no, there we go. I swear God, hit for you, fucking pain. Red points one, zero. Well, fuck you two then. Hippo, how are you doing, buddy? Thank you for the biddies. Look at me, Hippo. Hippo, Hippo, look at me. I'm playing on a PS2. Wire and all. Remember those old consoles with the wires? There you go, I'm playing the old PS2 right now. Fucking look at this. <laughs> but yes, happy face paint Friday. Oh my days, I do miss this game so much. The nostalgia, man, the nostalgia. But yeah, don't forget any games that you would like to see me play that are in those pictures. Please write down what retro games you'd like to see me play. I also do have Rayman 2. <clears throat> Rayman 2, Alone in the Dark, A New Nightmare, 
Soul Reaver and the original Metal Gear Solid all on GOG as well. So that's another few retro games that I've got. But yeah, please make sure to put them in, like put in what you want to see me play and yeah. But yeah, so I know it's not much, but that was a little bit of Need for Speed Underground too. I fucking love that game so much. But yeah, I think we're gonna leave that there for now. Uh what playing? Uh Need for Speed Underground 2 Moons. The very retro, very amazing game of Need for Speed Underground 2. This game is such a fucking vibe. And you're able to tune your car as well. Fuck says hi, sh no, no, not shoe, shall. You, you, get rid of the E and put an A in between the H and the O. Right? Don't go fucking jumbling my bloody name up. Shall. But also, hi, Silver. Right, um. Checking memory cards. Checking memory cards. Checking memory cards. Save successful. Uh, it was all correct, but hilarious. Fuck you. How the fuck did it auto correct? It's bullshit. Shoe needs to get taken out the god uh, taken out the goddamn dictionary. Right. Anyway, I don't even need to do that. I could just fucking turn off the console. Right. Anyway, let's. Let's turn that off. There we go. There you go, you get your black screen. <laughs> right. Um, go back to that. Actually, hide that. There we go. Uh, seems similar. Shut up, right? Shut up. It's nothing alike. So, yeah, we've, te we've now tested it out on the stream, and it works brilliantly. I am over the moon that I can... I'm so happy that I can get my PS2 to work on my capture card on my PC. I'm over the moon about that. I can't wait to play, to play more. So what we're going to do here, also before we do it, do anything else, I owe Hippo a, uh, a fucking Bertie Bot every flavour bean. So there we go. First one we grabbed out. I don't know what the fuck this one could be. Dirt or cinnamon or even an earthworm. I think this is dirt. Oh God. Dirt or sausage. There we go. Dirt or sausage. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Okay, that's, that's fucking dirt. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Um, I'm now tempted to go by Need for Speed because I don't have it anymore unless it's unless it's some somewhere in storage. Yeah, um, honestly, such a good game to have and own. It really is. Do you know what? There is actually another game that I do want to get, but it's actually expensive. One of the first PS One games I actually ever played, because we're talking about a time when like uh, ps1 was starting to make it big and very few people had it to the point where you would end up going around your friend's house to play on their ps1 well an old friend of mine let me borrow his ps1 and we happened to have a ps1 memory card but he didn't so every game that he played he was only ever ever able to get so far through but we happened to have a memory card and one of the first games that i ever played and actually enjoyed was um rugrats search for reptar i fucking loved that game it was infuriating as well but i loved that game uh was laying on uh laying on the outside of the bed on the edge and shelby woke me up uh, and i fell off the bed and hit my hip um very hard then she tried to catch me but i ended up twisting my shoulder oh shit Damn, I hope you're feeling better soon, Moons. Jesus, that's not good. I remember that game. I don't remember the last time I played it. Which one, Jack and Daxter or Rugrats Search for Reptar? Because I know just Moons and sh Moons will not show up about Jack and Daxter. I know that much. But uh, in fact, a lot of people won't show up about Jack and Daxter. Rugrats, yeah. 
yeah, I, I remember Rugrats so well. Such a good game. I have Jack and Daxter. Yeah, I'm not surprised there. I don't. I never really liked the game that much. Like that and Ratchet and Clank, it was, uh, they were good games, but I didn't enjoy them to the point where I wanted to play them over and over again, sadly. So I I probably would only get them as like a may, I may get them, may, but we'll see. Uh, I miss that game so much. Oh, I bet you do. But anyway, we are going to look for someone to raid, because why not? Uh, we've honestly had a brilliant stream. I've actually done the full four hours today. Uh, how dare you? What's wrong with you? Uh, she's, I uh, Shut up. There's nothing wrong with me, all right? There's nothing wrong with me at all. Um, you know what, right? While there's people actually interacting, because the amount of times I pass you guys on to someone else and you don't relay messages from me, it's frankly just fucking rude. <laughs> So we are going to go throw the party on over to Shay. But what we're going to do, okay, fucking uh, goddamn adverts. What we're going to do is I want you all to just spam in Shay's chat. Shay is cute. Shay is bear. So Shay is cute. Shay is bear. Spam the shit out of it. Because when we do raid, that alone is going to scare the shit out of shit. It always does. The raids always scare the shit out of her. So, yeah, that's going to be fun in itself. Advert, hurry up. I want to see where she is so we don't kind of, like, catch her when she's not... Oh, great, she's on a B-Red right back screen. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, no, she is actually still doing something. She is actually still doing something, so... Right. Why did that happen? Right. No. Why is that a fucking thing? I know to put the channel name in. Right. Yeah, but everyone spam. She's cute. She's bear. Everyone spam that. She'll fucking love you for that. But either way, thank you everyone for popping by today. Really appreciate it. We will be streaming again tomorrow night. But after tomorrow night, we will not. Uh, I will not be streaming again for um, seven or eight days. Because I'll be looking after my brother's place for him while him and his partner and the kids um, all go away for a nice week away. So yeah, uh, I won't be streaming for the next week. Um, but we're also working tomorrow. I might look more into the whole... Um, podcast that i'm thinking about doing so we're going to look into more names on that and figuring out what we're going to do with it and all that and yeah so either way thank you everyone popping by really appreciate it. much love to each and every one of you and oh also on the podcasting i might be able to talk tina into joining me on that being the thing that me and her do so we'll see how that goes but either way much love to each and every one of you hope you all a fantastic rest of your day and don't forget spam shares bear shares cute uh, Shay's cute, Shay's bear. Either order, but as long as Shay's cute, Shay's bear. As long as it's there, good. Much love to each and one of you. I'll catch y'all next time, guys. Sheldon Smith. No, no, no. Right. Bye, guys. Love yous.